Oh my, it's early. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> Tom, thank you for the delegation. And more than that, thanks for joining me. It is early AF. I am a tired TGM. I, I am late, so I need to try to jump into this voice call, and then we're going to work on getting this game set up. So I will be fairly distracted. Thank you for being here. Bag, hello. Welcome, welcome. Jump into this call. Hello? Wait, I cannot hear anything. Oh, of course there are technical issues today. Why is this not working? Input that one. I'll put that one. There we go. Hearing Wait, myself in echo. echo. Okay. Hey. All right. Try that again. No. What the heck? Hmm. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Nothing like jumping into a stream to be like, hey, I've got some technical issues. All right, come on, Discord. What's going on here? Voice and video. It says it works. What the heck? <laughs> What's up, Zen? Thank you for stopping in. Welcome in, everybody. Hi, Riani. Yeah, I know. It's early. I'll, 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 I'll share a story with you all in a second um, when I'm finally into the call. <laughs> but I don't know why this isn't working. I like how you feel. Nice. Uh, man, I don't... Why is... Why? Yeah, I guess I'll try turning it off and turning it back on again. Because that's never a bad idea. <laughs> Let's get out of Discord for a second. I was just using Discord voice chat like two days ago. Your settings. There's a video that, again, yeah. this works. You can hear it chat, right? You can hear me echo. echo. Hmm. So what I think we need to do oh. is have him start the call. Oh, wait. I think I hear it. Yeah. Hello. We're ma Hi. magic. Magic. What did you do? Nothing. What? Yeah, Discord was just having trouble. Oh, like okay. Well, that's reasonable then. Hello. Hi, Game Mechanic. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. How's it going, you guys? Sorry, I'm late. Sorry, there are technical issues. 
All good. I gotta tell you, okay, so when we originally scheduled this, I think I got wamboozled by daylight savings time. When we originally scheduled this, I swear I looked in, like, what time is it? You know, whatever, British time or whatever dumb time you guys use over there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I was like, okay, that'll just be at 7 a.m. for me. That's no problem. But then daylight savings time happened and 7 became 6 a.m. And so I was like, oh, I have to get up at 5 in the morning. I'm like, what do I have, like, a real job? What am I, a scrub? What is happening? <laughs> well, I apologize as well, so thank you for getting up for us. No, 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 it's, I'm glad I checked it, otherwise I would have been really embarrassed. Yeah, please. I would appreciate if some of my people went over there and gave him some Twitch Prime for getting up there. Nah, <laughs> don't, uh, totally unnecessary, just happy to be here. What do I need to do as far as... Well, I just moved to the UK, so I don't know how time works here either. Time is hard, is I will be honest. And hello, Gamer Zach, I've never chatted with you before. Malaysia. Oh, that's a, that's a big move across the whole world. Yeah, during the pandemic wasn't easy. Ooh, yeah. Hey, you did wow. During the pandemic, that's a crazy move. Have you settled in? I think as settled in as I can be. I've never lived abroad, so this, this is all like, even, even going shopping for groceries is, is like a new experience for me. I bet. Oh, I think sure. I like it though. Well, it's my first autumn, so it's just kind of cold right now. <laughs> <laughs> to get used to the rain. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm used to 32 degrees Celsius year-round. That sounds like torture. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a heat person. That's, yeah, that's hot. Yeah, it's not good. Oh. It's not good. Zach, do you already have your voice lines in the game? I do not. I've recorded them, but I think that's going to be a future update. Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. Nice. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, me too. I, I, I think I did a good job. I hope I did a good job. It was super fun. For me, at least. Did you guys go to, like, a recording studio? Or did you, like, record locally? Uh, recording studio. They, they insisted on recording studio. Oh, that is so yeah. cool. It was really cool. Like, a professional setup, and, and people were there through Zoom. An, an oh. acting coach and stuff, and it was really nice. Wow, yeah, that's fun. But my fun. voice was completely short afterwards. <laughs> I could imagine if you're doing that many, like you probably did like hundreds of lines, right? Yeah, 470, yeah. I think. Wow. It's like almost 500 lines. Yes, it was a lot. <laughs> that's incredible. Um, it, it makes you really appreciate things like audiobooks and even voiceover systems, how much they want to do. Mm -hmm, yeah. Man, I am having weird issues. Zach, I posted the link or the game ID, lobby ID, mm. a bit earlier, but I can uh, post it again if you want to join. Uh, I think I got it. Um, hold on. I've never done multiplayer. All good. Oh, uh, someone would like to know what were your favorite lines from doing the reading? What like, the you like, really enjoyed? So we were allowed to make insiders and just Easter eggs, fun lines that would make the community happy, and those are my favorite. Oh, so I don't think we, I've heard those ones. We, we played around with Dark Kiri because that's a thing on my channel, and oh. how I love to use nukes in those games. <laughs> <laughs> those are my favorites. Can you guys hear me? That's awesome. Yeah, they asked us to do, like, when it came to certain lines, they were like, oh, do you have anything, like, special you could say to your community? Because this one is not, like, part of the gameplay. You can say whatever you want. So I think there were, like, three or four lines where you just make up what you like. Yeah, that was super fun. Are you, can you hear me now? Hello? We could just restart the voice call for Game Mechanic. When yeah, I think... Started then. We'll, uh, how about we restart and have him, uh, Yeah, that yeah. sounds good. <clears throat> how are we doing now? Hi, can you hear? I can hear you. Can you hear me? 
I found sometimes when Discord's being a little bit finicky, whoever's having an issue starts the call and it picks a server close to them. Ah. Okay. So it, well, well, it was weird because I was like disconnected from my Twitch to chat watch. too. So I was like, is this my internet? Like, what's going on? It must be, ooh, it might be like the, the switch you're going through is having issues on hmm. the internet. If you're having Twitch issues as well, it might be like an Amazon thing. Is Discord hosted on Amazon Web Services? I think it is, right? I don't know. They were down this week, I thought. Weren't there like technical issues? I think YouTube had issues too. There was yeah. a couple of like things that went down, yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, hopefully this is fine now. Thank you. Yeah. No, all, no. Blah, 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 blah. Words are hard. Okay, so we'll play on fast. We have a 90 second timer. Okay. That gets longer the more cities we have. Do you have a preference for continents, world shape? No, I, I, I fully expect to just get my butt kicked by all of you. So any settings you choose will be fine. Okay, so no, I, I might be the worst player here, by the way. No, no, no. You can't have that. That's mine. <laughs> okay, so we don't want to win. We just want to lose. Okay. Yes, race to the bottom. Ten okay. percent world like uh, land percentage. We have no land. Ten percent. Okay, cool, cool. Um, I don't know. Do we want to be all on the same continent, or do we want to have a new world? I think those are like the two big questions um, that you usually ask in a human kind setup. Ask him like again. With a new world. Uh, do we all want to be on the same continent? And do we want a new world? Those are like the two big starting questions uh, when you're setting up a game of human time. So uh, new continent would mean then that everybody spawns, or just one continent is completely free. That's a new world. Yes. And we can just discover it eventually. Yes. And then, For me, uh, it's the less water, the better, because I suck at everything naval. <laughs> 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 I, the water in the team is upsetting. Because I just, I lose every naval engagement I engage in. Good to know. But yeah, I, I just <laughs> never try water. <laughs> it, it doesn't work. Okay, so we're just going to play with one continent and no new world, all right? Sure. Yeah, that's That'll give us a bit more land. How about 70%? Sounds perfect. Anything else? What about the difficulty? Uh, I think that only affects like the neutral AIs in this. It does, yeah. I mean, if you want them to be really tough, you could slap it all the way up to humankind. Um, I haven't really played this latest update that much. So... It was an update yesterday, actually. Uh -huh. Lots of units got buffed or nerfed. Oh, I well. think more got nerfed, actually. <laughs> now I'm going in like almost completely blind because I haven't seen those patch notes. You still know more, know more than me, don't worry. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just have the AI on Nation. Yeah, that seems fine by me. Okay, unless I've forgotten something, I think we're ready to start. Great. All right, yeah, I think we're all good. Yep, I'm ready. Okay then, let's go. Oh god, we're loading in, I'm scared. <laughs> go, I picked pink, good for me. I like it. What's good for you, sorry? I'm coughing. No, I, it's really weird. I'm still having odd issues. Like, I'm, I'm not connected to my Twitch chat, so I don't know what the heck is going on. Oh, that's weird. Oh. I'll, I'll, uh... But so if I drop from the game or something, I'll... I'll I'll try to come back. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is really easy to reconnect. Yes. Okay, yeah. Good. good, good. Tally how I've, I've heard now they've nerfed the nomadic era, like killing elephant or killing mammoths is harder. I don't get quite as many fines in the Neolithic era. Yes. Mm -hmm. And like, also they fix the AI so that auto exploration is not OP anymore. Very sad. That's been fixed for a minute, though, yeah? Yeah, I, th I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I loaded up the game earlier and tested a nomadic tribe. It seemed like we get less food, less points. It felt weaker in general. 
Hmm, definitely. For sure. Do it. Just because a culture died out doesn't mean it wasn't worthy of study. I think my sad, the, the change that I'm the most sad about was uh, sanctuaries. Um, only give you five food now, which seems, which is just feels really bad. Yeah. Mhm. Mm True. Right. But the the the, the Neolithic snowball was pretty insane. It mm -hmm, it yeah. was kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you could spend like forty turns in here and come out with like eight hundred tribesmen. Exactly, and then like, oh my my city has full population. Let's go. Yeah. Well, I'm glad they nerfed it because I never got it to work properly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, finally, I got my second tribesman. No, Full mammoth, don't block and me. Healthy <laughs> children. I see where this is going. Well, I haven't found any food yet. And I just found my first. And it was weird because it was on a tile that I had already explored. I think they like spawn in the fog of war behind you and stuff. Yeah, it, I, I just saw one that did that. I think I just saw somebody fighting on the map that I have, like a part that I have not explored yet. Yeah, I'm battling some mammoths. Are you purple? I am. Ha, I know where you are. <laughs> I just had a big uh, landfall of food. I've got three units now. Oh my god, these mammoths are way stronger than I remember. <laughs> I'm being killed by a mammoth. What are they both? Oh, no. oh Jesus. I think I'm. That's uh, uh, all she wrote. Roll potato. Will do. Yes. This way. We move. What's everybody's favorite like feature or system in this game that's like unique to it? I love I how think... sieges work. Sorry, potato. Uh, no, it's, it's totally fine. I was letting you talk. Uh, I I like sieges; they're quite interesting. I'm a big fan of the um, the legacy traits for your culture. I'm yeah. Mm -hmm. Collecting things. I don't know. There's something really satisfying. Like, ah, oh, plus one science, one piece of her. That's true. We were doing some brainstorming for Civ 7, and I thought that that, that that concept added to the Civ system would be neat. Like, for example, let's say you could have, like, a hoplite legacy trait, right? So if you use, if you kill X amount of units with hoplites or take a city with a hoplite or whatever, like, all future spearmen get buffed you know, by X or, or have the hoplite bonus or something. I think it'd be really cool to add that sort of dynamic uh, system Onward. into it. Oh, for sure. This is actually something I talked about before as well with um, in my chat. I was talking about like they already have like an achievement based system in the game where you, like, you know, kill a unit with an archer or, or slinger. You get a boost for archery. Um, wouldn't it be really cool if there was like more like permanent bonuses gained from achievements? So I'm super on board with that idea. Yeah, I think That'd it'd be, be cool. pretty fun. All right. I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm a glutton for bonus. Like, 
bonuses. That's why I love social policies in Civ Five. You know, you click a button, oh, plus one food from farms forever, and I'm like, yes, I love this. <laughs> True. I really like the high ground and the terrain. Okay. Yes. Yes. And aesthetically, that that's very very pleasing. I, I find. There, I think there's only one thing in this game that like genuinely offends me. A first okay. and that um, means a first the fog of war a new is like gray and a and new extension like of your empire's God. power. <laughs> <laughs> a new I understand though. <laughs> I, it just it feels like my eyes are blurry sometimes. I can see that. I can see that. But I, I, I think when you have um, things that evolve like that, I think it can add a lot to like 4X games because, you know, everybody always loves the early game. That's the most exciting part. It's where like the most interesting things can happen. But if you had some sort of like evolution of your, you know, society or whatever, like all of a sudden the game isn't so samey past turn 80, let's say. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I think that's like the real key is if you can figure out how to make an entire 4X game feel like the first, you know, 40 turns of a 4X game, you you basically won the genre. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> you solved yeah, it. True. You solved it. Because I don't know about you guys, but like I load up these like really quirky, like made by like a Polish guy in a basement somewhere, um, <laughs> like 4X games, where it's and, like the first 40 turns are always incredible because it's like, all right, you put your wizard on this tile. And then you press this button and you summon a golem and now you have an army of golems because you do that oh, every turn. The but then it gets While to the, the point where you have like 10 of those wizards and you have to interact markets. with every single wizard they every turn. And it's become like, in order for me to go from turn Please 41 to turn 42, I have to do like 130 actions and now I'm just bored. Yeah, true. Come over here. That's very cool in humankind because there you've got those regiments. And you can move like five units at the same time. I love that. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of that too. I just think the combat in this game in general is fantastic. Yes, yes it is. I agree too. Um, I think there's a, there's a few like little frustrations with the combat, but otherwise I really like it. I, I think conceptually it's neat and I think it works well with, you know, again, like the elevated train that you were saying, Zach, and um, just sort of some of their unique map setup, right? Like, I, I still get thrown off where I'm like, oh, I don't, I get more than three tiles for the city, you know, like. Yeah. And so I think because it's like a bit, a bit bigger in scale and scope that I feel like um, the combat works really well with like the deployment and stuff. For sure. I know where pink is. Uh oh. You've just found everyone. I don't even know where you were because okay, I was so in it's, battle. It's really strange because I, I set it to one continent and it seems like I'm on, I'm on a weirdly shaped island. Oh. Oh. I mean, there's, there's shallow. I just realized water. how small this map is. A first city constructed. Okay. Walls. It's, it's roofs. Not that oh, I walls. Ah, the luxuries of civilization. Oh, the turn I'm going to advance to the next era is the turn that I find all the food on the map. Okay. <laughs> this is this is just every game ever that I play. I find exactly what I need when it's like perfectly no longer relevant to me. You could still use it. I'll try. But I've placed my first outpost and I'm ready to become a culture oh my god two of you have already done it okay i'm way behind <laughs> i've lost i, I kind of rushed i kind of rushed <laughs> i spent two turns getting my uh well i'll say it politely getting beaten up by a mammoth <laughs> i guys I'm, i might have messed up i think my world something was still on random because we have four continents oh but i'm pretty sure i set it to one I thought you blind. said it to one, two. Was that like continent per player? No, that can't be. That can't be. That's weird. That can't be, right? That'd be crazy. So I don't know if you want to... <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
we can do a vote. Like, if we all want to be on the same continent so we can have interaction, I'm totally fine with starting. But if we all want to be isolated so we can play our own game, I'm totally okay with that too. I'm fairly indifferent. If you feel like you wanted the game to go different, Kiri or anybody else, that's fine with me too. We're not too far into this, so. I just feel bad because I messed up, apparently. I mean, Because you said you don't, like, Zach doesn't want to do naval stuff, right? And... Well, I, I can I can survive. I've had a good start. It'll be okay. Yeah, uh, see, that's wanna... the thing. He's got a good start. He doesn't want to change. <laughs> <laughs> so I suppose we're all on, on one continent, though. That's stupid. Like, each, each uh, of us is, is on silly. one separate one. That's it's weird, stupid. though, because you spotted me. In constructing an emblem, yeah, but order, through the fog of war, I you think have I become that. a builder and uh, a creator. There is more to creating an empire than just yelling orders. That's me. You picking the strong ones. <laughs> Did you want okay. us to pick the bad ones? <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> what are we AIs? Come on. That's exactly. Uh, the, like I'd only ever really played against AIs in Civ Six. So when I was playing a multiplayer game with the Yogg's cast and Lewis like walked past one of my defensive cities that had walls and attacked one without walls. And I was like, wait a minute, you can do that? So <laughs> you see AI just throwing themselves against the first city they find. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Follow me. Who do I want to go past? You know what? No, you sniped my Egyptians. I was literally about <laughs> to say <laughs> <laughs> oh Sorry. my. Okay. <laughs> okay, dude. Confirmed, confirmed. No, they're gone now. This is some stream sniping happening right here. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. It's so much. They don't give you as many uh, pop ups, like reminder pop ups in multiplayer, I'm finding. So, like, a few. Uh, a few turns are going by and I'm like, oh, I haven't actually settled my city. This isn't great. Yeah, I just did that now. <laughs> oh, you're supposed to click a button. That's right. Sorry, yeah, sometimes that. you have I to click, click buttons, buttons in these games. It's weird. One thing I really like that they've done in the um, the latest couple of updates, they've given a lot of lot, lot of units now unique cultural icons. So like the the scouts and like horsemen are different for each faction. Like they have different cultural um, avatars. That's super neat. I don't think I've seen that yet. Nice. Yeah, like um, the Nubian scouts. It's no longer just like the generic, you know, Greek guy on a horse. Now it's actually like a Nubian person on a horse, but like Nubian dress is really really cool. This is kind of interesting being on your own continent. It's a unique experience. It is. We get to play Sim City. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> right. One one question I have for you guys is: Do you typically disband way. a scout or two to put it into your city? Or do I've you started yes. to do that. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I, I do a couple. Especially because uh, they've should... added um, a maintenance cost into like my unique unit, for example. Oh god, I'm minus gold. Okay, disband. disband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I was I was like, I'm just gonna have all these scouts forever and I'll be fine. <laughs> no. <Nope>. Why <laughs> was this even a question? Let's keep it simple. We've been here. It's, here it's our place. Gold.
Does the turn timer turn red when you're the last one? No, it just turns red when time's running out. Let's go. Ah, okay. You think it's when you've got like 20 seconds left or something? I can't remember. And I've just given away my first key. Somebody made an incredible pun earlier and uh, <laughs> themselves a nice key for humankind. Awesome. Congrats, pun what, maker. I forget what the pun was, but it was a good one. It made oh, it was so good that you forgot again. <laughs> well, it was like it was like 20 minutes ago, okay? Because <laughs> it took them it took them some time to message me on Discord. <laughs> All right, I I listen. It's not even 2 at p.m. and I'm getting attacked, Kiri. I need you to relax. <laughs> what? I feel bullied. This is a bully-free zone. I thought you meant attacked in game at first. <laughs> oh, no. I was like, what? I'm not doing anything. Yeah, it was I like, apologize. were the mammoths ganging up? You know what? I'm not okay with what you just said, Zach. I don't want you to even, like, suggest to the developers. <laughs> yeah, be careful because they're hanging out here, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> there I'm should be a mode where everywhere. all animals are hostile and they can siege cities. Mammoths can break down walls. That would make sense, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Did you hear that amplitude? <laughs> so actually, being able to tame a mammoth and have mammoth cavalry, now that would be awesome. <gasps> yes. I mean, you have elephants later on, right? So why not mammoths? There you go, exactly. Preserve the mammoth. Ballista mammoth would be the best unit in the game. This is, this is going to teach me to use my uh, production queue a lot better. Yeah, because you one turn some things. Oh my god, yeah, that part of the game is crazy. You're like, I just I, I think multiple districts. I, I think they have reined it in a little bit. I, I did have a game where I was doing like five districts a turn in some cities where it, it just became like absurd. So I had one of my viewers actually go back to the VOD and check the settings and i selected one continent so i'm not sure what happened there okay that's weird i mean so then yeah, there's no guarantee even if we do go back that it's going to work properly right yeah so. i don't i don't know kind of weird it, it, it it might be that a continent counts as a continent if it's connected by shallow water because that's technically a tectonic plate thing right maybe i'm not sure because hmm. if you could see me you would be connected by shallow water Oh, but I went now into the game settings, because now I can check it, right? If you press escape and go to the game settings, now it says four, though. Hmm. So at some oh. point, it must have switched. That is That's very odd. Weird. Thank you. 
Guys, this is the best start I've ever had in human kind. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, I've lost them. Oh, well, I'm, I'm happy for you. <laughs> yeah. Look, guys, I think I would like us all to be on the same continent. <laughs> <laughs> I would like You're a reset. Assist, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm no, no, don't worry, don't worry. Once we get to boats, mine are just gonna sink. Like, inexplicably, <laughs> they're just gonna fall into the water. They're not gonna float. It's okay. Okay, I'll trust you for now. Is anybody ever streaming on YouTube, or are you all streaming on Twitch? I, I'm on Twitch. Stream on both. Over this nice. way. Oh, cool. How did you finagle that, Just by the way? What me. was your... Because I know you, like, left the affiliate program so that you could do both. Is that... Did that have to stay, or did you, like, work with Twitch for them to be like, no, it's cool, we want the money you could make us to? Uh, if you don't... You don't have to tell me, by the way. I was just told that it was cool. Oh. Uh, as long as you're not a partner, although I should probably shouldn't say it out loud. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, like, no, nobody nobody, you. Yeah, nobody nobody's watching you. is fine. basically what totally I was told. Fine. So I was like, all right then. It's just Twitch for me. I don't think I said it. If I, if I was partner, I would definitely only skim to one platform. <clears throat> now, things that one partner? generation learned can be passed to the oh. next. Via I don't know. something more reliable than campfire stories. Yeah, it's a tough I... choice actually if you want to be partnered with Twitch because there's the exclusivity thing, and it, that's a hard choice to make now. Mm, absolutely, me. true, sure. true. And Twitch hasn't exactly had a pristine track record lately, so yes. your choices matter. I, I think I think Twitch. See, the thing is, I, I think. The thing that frustrates pretty much anyone who is like into live streaming Hi, or live streaming culture or into just the scene, quote unquote, in general, is that man, this could be so awesome, and it's just like there's a couple people somewhere making decisions, and then everyone is like, "Why did you make this decision? Yep. Like, who asked?" <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, and 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 the bigger you get, the more those decisions are made based on profits instead of people, and so. Yeah. You know, you gotta it's difficult to strike the balance between like community management and hey, we're running a company here. Um but I will definitely say there 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 have been some boneheaded choices that uh have made me be like, hmm, commit more to YouTube, huh? Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I think um well, the, here yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, the benefit for me is that uh, I started on YouTube, so I built that first. So Twitch is more my side thing. Most problems so the, the, the choice makes it easy for me. If, if Twitch goes south, well, problems. I was from YouTube anyway. There you go. Okay. That's I'm in a similar position actually. I was just I was just about to say like I think if my Twitch were to like outstrip my YouTube or come close in in like 
revenue or viewer or whatever, then I would be like, okay, I'll go to this one. But I think it becomes a bit of a divide. I'm not like committing to it, which sounds like, <laughs> you know what? I'll let that hang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you all have really big YouTube channels. For me, it's the other way around because I just started on Twitch. And that's my main thing. And then I've got this little YouTube thing on the side that is mainly just recycled Twitch stuff. Which honestly makes what you've done like incredibly impressive. Like, because the, the conventional wisdom is that like Twitch is for content production, but you grow on YouTube and you have completely yeah. reversed that, which is like kind of mind blowing, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's true, though. Because this discovery on Twitch is so, so difficult. On YouTube, it's easy because people just search for something, right? And they stumble upon your channel. Yep, or make a couple of evergreen videos. Or they get a suggested video, right? And they watch the next and the next. And on Twitch, it's just, if you're not live, you're not here, really. Mm -hmm. There's you're so many live, other people live that how are you going to get found? Exactly. I'm actually mystified by how you did it, Kiri. It's It's... Like, I have no idea how you did it. You just blew up on Twitch, and it's actually amazing. <laughs> Some people well, are you. that charming and talented and, and amazing that you just... Aww. You can just do it wherever, yeah. wherever. I, I would actually <laughs> like so with, kind. I, I, I like us introverts PDM. skulking around in a bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> to harness the power of yeah, the people I, I the so. internet will notice me today. to feed your people. <laughs> <laughs> that should make you popular. <laughs> Um, I, I do think in order to do it, to, to to grow on any platform, you do have to be somewhat exceptional as a person. Like, you have to have something about you that, like, draws people to you. Yeah. Um, so I do think that is, like, there is, like, an element of truth, even if, you know, he is kind of, like, tipping his fedora a little bit there. Um, <laughs> uh, I meant every word of that. That wasn't bluster. <laughs> I'm, I'm, listen, I'm just bullying you. Okay? I know, I know. I can settle it. I really love just chatting with you, but you distract me so much from the game. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, we could we could just have a chatting stream between all of us, I'm sure. Oh, we could do it like where one person plays the game and everyone else talks. That there you all go. Five, we're all four of us are getting like extremely good content for zero effort. I love that. <laughs> Please let's do that. <laughs> Also, I have someone from uh, Amplitude who checked my VOD and also has no idea what happened with the continents. So, it's not yeah, my it's fault. Weird. We weren't blaming I, you. I am blaming you. Well, the, that, I mean, that's okay. I bullied you before, person, so I think I've earned that. <laughs> yeah, we're even now. Okay, good. All right, my start's not too amazing anymore. I'm being attacked by barbarian chariots. Uh oh. So now you want to start over? <laughs> no, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. It'll be uh, okay, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Let the right. humbling of gamers act begin. I can find a religion. <gasps> I already have one. Let me I'm pretty have sure something. you like mine better. <laughs> the game, I don't know what it is, but there's something satisfying about this game speed. Because I usually play on normal. Um, and like, something happens every time I end the turn, which I think is like... The, one of the keys as well for one of these kind of games is like if you end the turn and something interesting happens then you're like you're winning you know yep
we all must have just gotten into the zone a little bit there. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, all right, I got to get other cities. We're actually still playing a game here. Well, yes, I, I had like a kind of complicated turn. Like I'm in bot. No, bears run away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being attacked. I'm being attacked. I live in out here. I haven't even seen a bear yet. I think my continent doesn't have bears. I think my continent is, is, is exclusively inhabited by predatory bears. There are no <laughs> wildlife for them to eat except my people. Over this way. I already own my whole continent. That's impressive. I have three territories. You got your whole continent? Yeah, that's impressive. <laughs> like, holy crap. Yeah. Are you the Har Six no, you're territories. The Egyptians. Yeah, Egyptians, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's impressive because, like, I don't even have, I only have, like, half my continent. I'm falling behind. I, I am building a holy site for stability, though. That's exciting. Same here, yeah. Oh my sweet Christ. I didn't realize you guys are so far ahead in fame. I just looked at that list. And I'm I, I was way just looking down. at it too. Wow. Way down I am. I am. Well, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> but then you yeah. wanted to be lost anyway, right? So you're winning. Well, you know. No, what? that was me. That was me. Kind of. Golf I, rules. I you know, you lower, lower the number, the better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Humankind, any percent lowest fame. Humankind opposite day edition. Yeah. 
I wonder what the minimum score actually is. If you go through all the errors, what's the least you can score? That'd be a fun challenge. Oh, that would be a fun challenge. I would say it'd be like 700 score per error because it's like a hundred per star or something. Yeah, but you don't. You have to make sure that you're not the first researching certain technologies and that you don't stumble upon a wonder and stuff. It's That's not that true. easy. That's true. It would probably have to be like a one city challenge type deal. All right, I just killed those chariots. I think I'm doing okay now. Nice. Nice. It coincided with me uh, culling the bears on my continent. The Great Bear Culling of 3144 BC. So how how many cities would you guys shoot for on a on like a continent this size? That's still something I don't really have the hang of. I was gonna go for like a silly build where I put a city on every territory. Wow. Well, okay. All right. All right. Nice. That seems fun. <laughs> I typically so go far, two right. here. Yeah. Okay. So that means now we that should I'm expect looking. some naval boats coming our way pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> I think there might be some like neutral islands that could be claimed. Ooh, I could get a world wonder. That'd be good. You know what? I'm getting the hanging garden complete. I'm on. See, you can get a wonder, but I just spent all my influence on the territories. That's the downside. Yeah. I don't know which one of us comes out ahead there.
I feel like I made a bad decision because I was about to pop down two more outposts. It, I feel like if barbarians spawn, then I made the worst decision of my life just there. I only had peaceful ones spawn so far. I've only had bears. I've just seen bears for the last 10 turns. It's just all bears. <laughs> Follow me. Good morning TGM and chat. Hope everyone has their morning beverage of choice available. Hashtag team coffee here. Thank you. 
you trying to get all the fame that you can get? Yeah, it's like a high it score thing. I like doing pretty it. Pretty looks like it. <laughs> well, I was trying, but I'm kind of failing. This is where my knowledge starts to fall apart once we reach the end of the ancient era. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both. I, li I like trying to do it. Let's see if I can pull it off. See, the thing about the score is, like, once you leave an era, you leave all that score on the table. You, you can't yeah. get it anymore. Yeah, that's true. I like how we all play the same that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it used to be that rushing up to the end game was, like, su like the meta, because everyone thought, oh, I'll end the game really quick. And then people realized you got there and you had no score. It is a delicate balance, though, because, you know, you stay in an era too long and other people snatch up all the cool fibs. Yep. Yeah, true. And I mean, at some point, you're not going to have is, any more science. I've... Yeah, my main problem is I've exhausted the tech tree. Yeah. yeah so oh. That's usually when I start moving on to the next one. I'm not even close to exhausting it yet. I, I usually wait till the end of an era to go tech. I've got wonders to build. Nice. <laughs>
Follow me. Bloody and smelly, aren't they? History may be changed by those scenes, but that doesn't mean they're enjoyable. It all sounds well and good, until they start worshipping delivery services and bank accounts. Haha, <laughs> I'm finally on top of the leaderboards. Eat my dark dust. <laughs> <laughs> well, GG. You guys can concede now if you'd like. Is that so? I checked yeah. auto-concede before I started. <laughs> Actually, conceding in games is something I really don't like to do. Um, I don't know if you guys ever played League of Legends or anything like that, or Dota, but yeah. like, there's always yeah. one person, one guy in your team who got killed once and is like, FF, surrender at 20. I'm like, no! Yeah, you don't get no. to tell me I'm not having fun. <laughs> exactly. the Pyramids of Giza, the original construction yardstick by which all other projects will be measured. All right, I decided to transcend. Transcend? Ooh. Oh, that's a okay. good move. I didn't really like... Usually I go Romans, but then I don't have any boats, so where am I going to send my legions? Oh, that's a good call. Yeah, fair enough. I think the, the one thing, I don't know if it's like a FOMO thing, the one thing that I get anxiety about, about like advancing an era, is um, is I don't get to build the previous era's emblematic districts anymore. Like, yeah. I'm like, I'm missing it in like one territory, it's going to annoy me for the rest of the game that I didn't get it. <laughs> yeah. Do you know that if you queue it up and it's the thing that your city's working on, that you still can finish it? Yeah, you have to like put one turn into it at least, I think. Yeah. But I know what I, you mean. It bonds me too. Because because I just made a new city and I'm able to place a Moreau pyramid, but I'm about to go off. So I and like I don't know if it's gonna keep it. I'm like mm. yeah, right.
Has anyone actually advised? It does seem logical that, that people that shouldn't have to do a job unless they want to. I no, I haven't yet. Because I'm like, I'm one follower away, and I haven't seen any of the new like um, beliefs. Mm -hmm, right, a five away. I think I'm quite a bit away. I'm moving on to the next era. Congratulations. I'm getting bullied by neutrals and it makes me sad. Oh no. <laughs> I'm about to get both. I'll I'll be Exploring new shores and we could trade goods. Oh, it's awesome. between each other. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the trade. Plan. Yes. I come in peace. Do you? I don't know that I trust that. <laughs> That's what they call it nowadays. Trading. <laughs> I'm trading trading my sword, sword blows, right? Yeah. <laughs> there will be an exchange. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm the last one to claim a wonder. Sad times. I mean, all the wonders are good. Which one did you get? I'm not sure. I, like, I haven't picked yet. I don't know yet. I think Mausoleum is really powerful for science. That's like one of the mm. I'm not sure if you're using reverse psychology right now. Oh, but I mean, I agree with you, that is really cool, but maybe you don't want me to pick whatever you want to pick next. <laughs> Listen, I'm four turns from picking it, so I gave you a window of opportunity, all right? Take it or leave it. <laughs> I mean, science is great. I'm going to take it anyway. <laughs> Haha, I tricked you. I really wanted the lighthouse. Maybe so, yeah. You can have lighthouse. With that naval movement, it's going to help me with my economy. I can move my boats around really quick. Haven't fully thought that one out, but it will help somehow. As urban centers grow, both ideas and sewage are generated at a record pace. Arts and sciences... The Maya had excellent ideas for construction and calendars, though they were a bit weak on arches.
H-E-J-T-G-M. Good day, see you again. And on top of that this early. Flush. You have added an independent people to your empire. Will the whole be greater than the sum of its parts? Off we go! Over this way. What's the tech that allows you to embark units? It's the uh, trade expeditions, naval transport. It yeah. is the one of the first techs in the classical era. Ah, okay, got it. I'm two turns away from it. Uh oh. I see someone is pink. I can see your combat in the fog of war. Oh yeah. Fighting something. That's me. Mhm. Mm yeah. It's weird that you can see that. I feel like every strategy game has like a weird like you can scout in the fog of war thing. Like Age of Empires, you could like place buildings in the fog of war and see where your enemy was. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Turn timers have a little trouble there, or is it just me? Oh, it's flickering. It's me too, yeah. Uh oh. Is it because I'm uh -oh. fighting? Oh, that's why, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your time. Hurry up. Five farmers' yeah. quarters for one city. Somebody is going go. down in history with the title of I satiated. just finished the Hanging Gardens, and now I have plus 15% food in all cities because nice. I spawned with only food luxuries. Wow. Job. I would have loved like production. Production is so good. If you get the hanging gardens, but Over this way. Let's go. I'll have to live with uh with my extra food.
Oh, hello. I have met the Joe. Hello, it's me. Ah, oh, nice to meet you. I like your avatar. Introduce yourself. You should have met me too, though. Yeah, I just got it. How do we feel about a trade agreement? That sounds okay. <laughs> sure. How would you like to trade luxuries? Off we go. I sent you a deal. Come over here. Oh, I have to do my own voice acting right now. Your proposal makes good sense. <laughs> I say yes. I love it. Well done. Well done. This is great. <laughs> Very convincing. Coming soon in game. <laughs> Please, sir, I would like to buy all of your salt. I thank you for this trade deal. With five makers' quarters, an empire could build all sorts of interesting 
and troublesome things. Over here. That one of my viewers is from Malaysia and is saying hi to you specifically, Zach. Oh, hello, Afakaba. <laughs> <laughs> I think what's interesting there is I have no idea what you said. So you could have been like, hello, <laughs> potato is dumb. Tak lah, saya tak cakap macam tu. Saya orang sopan santun. No, you definitely don't. No, I'm just saying I'm <laughs> polite. Really and I'm just nice, saying actually. <laughs> I mean, I'm always saying that. Whatever you just said. Practically saying it. The first ship is a wonderful thing. Sadly for the crew, we're likely to see the first seasickness as well. Wait, I think I spawned without any iron. Oh no, I have to. Never mind. I was gonna like, I was gonna go try and voice for a bit there. That I was not claimed, right? And then go there, and it's like a teeny tiny island. So disappointed. Not gonna happen. No, hey, it's not island. you can put harbors there. Charge. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Let's get I'm so disappointed because, like, my scout, you can see my scout now. He just jumped yeah. to do it. Uh, yeah. Sorry. This is mine now. 
For now. For now. For now. Yeah, no, that's true. We'll see how the di diplomatic situation develops. Oh, I have a grievance against you. Claimed territory on our border, eh? Sorry. Yeah, I don't know that counts as grievance. Your sorry is so blasé, Kiri. It, it really... I, I feel like I have to say sorry, right? But then on the other <laughs> hand, I really want this territory. It's kind of like a get along with people, sorry. You don't actually care. Yeah, right. it's yeah. Kind of like well, a, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That. I'm sorry you're having feelings. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry if wow. you feel that way. Wow. I mean, you know, that there is a reason why people call me Dark Kiri sometimes. <laughs> well, that's true. You know what? I don't like Dark Kiri. She takes my albums. <laughs> I understand. Permanent settlement on another continent. Quite the globe spanning imperialist you've become. That should help simplicity and keep things focused, depending, of course, on where you go next. Uh, no, you shoot. You're in my territory. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, if you look at it, you're in my territory. Oh, we'll see about that. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Okay. Hi, chat. I put on push to talk for a little bit. It's it's very inconvenient to do so. Um, I'll so give I you a chance to retreat. At some point. It's an option for you. But hi. How's it going, everybody? I'm sorry I haven't been super chatty. The game is going, um, uh, you well, know. It's I did game. not retreat. 
Losing Mohenjo oh, okay. Daro for like half the game was not my favorite thing that ever happened. But uh, you know, the no rest ships, of the okay. that's gonna hurt. Yeah, I'm ships trying to just keep up. Is like very much in my favor. I've actually been yeah. fame lead a lot of the game, but I don't think that counts for much. Although, if you can get And I'm wasting all of my population building units. Oh, yeah, no, but my flag is on the water. So. I'm going to lose anyway. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'll chat with you all for a oh, few minutes. Oh, you also don't sound sorry, you know? <laughs> oh, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> These units, they're so killable. Listen, I'll just kill three. I'll take my, my Aerith Star. I'll, uh, I'll leave you alone. Your units are so killable. I, I can't even be mad about this. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody in Potatoes chat, please add the quote. Your units are so killable. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been going okay. I've been in, I've been having fun. I'm playing familiar civs uh, somewhat poorly. Oh, you, you're but on land now. Trying to keep up. Trying to keep up. I don't no, have a plan. I've never flag. like done anything naval. But and so since yeah, we're on continents and I don't have right? that much land... Yeah. None of us do. Like you, kind of are forced overseas, and so I'm. My plan is to turtle and defend, <laughs> and probably lose. Uh, versus other people are probably like, I know how to uh, conquest. I'll have to figure out another way to get that Aerith there. Us combat work between players. Yeah, go, it it go is kind of turn else. based. Like you take your turn, and then they take their turn. Um, you're that's so how close. combat is in general. So I'd imagine it's you're, the same. Right? I am. No, that's, that's true, right? I don't really know. Though. It's just a skirmish. It's not all at war. It's a border conflict over these five tiles of violence <laughs> i am not well rested i will so chat i um because they're so valuable when kiri and i were originally setting this up we had talked about 1 p.m Incredibly uk valuable. time the most and that was pre us falling back daylight savings time so i got wamboozled by daylight saving time because i was originally like oh i can wake up at six six is no big deal i'm usually up at seven anyways one hour early uh, and then it turns out that this started at six, and Wait, I needed to get up at so five. Far? So I am a I'm a sleepy TGM. So I told you guys yesterday, like, oh, two God, hours earlier than God. normal stream. No, awesome, right? It was three. It was three hours earlier. Chariot than normal OP. Stream. Okay, we want to we want to ban chariot so. archers. So that's that's how that's how my day's been going. It's pretty great. Oh my Great. god. I, I have four There's cities so on this. Damage. They said two was the appropriate number, so I feel Sadly like I'm doing everything though. exactly incorrectly, which is great. Which is great. Oh, you just wait. I'm coming back with ships. <laughs> well, if I well, I'm happy to be here, and I want to be doing more stuff like this, Soccer Man. I mean, I, I, I know we we had a rough week last uh, week, but in general, like I've been around more, and I've been trying to do more um, impromptu sort of things. And gonna, stuff. This and is how we both these, die. We fight this over this island. Yeah. Group of <laughs> streamers is awesome, and I'm just very happy to be able to. It's gonna be worth hang out it with them a bit. Also, these islands are incredibly. I have built industrial zones. I'm gonna wait for my heavy cool. cavalry up here. <laughs> Actually, I can probably go with... Well, no, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for my whole regiment. Oh. And then I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll go from there. I'm not actually what building is? anything here, and I should Oh, be. it was like, you can enact enough... You can enact another tennis, but it wasn't showing me the correct screen. And I was like, hmm. So now, I'm, now I feel like I'm sort of playing catch-up, which is not ideal. Follow me. can go so quickly now. Skip. What is this? A promotion? Oh. Okay. Neat. Like, there's so much new in this game for me still that it's like <laughs> I'm I'm definitely. I hate that I can't feel like I'm on land here. Underqualified to be yep. playing in this game. I caught you at sea. It was worth it. We gotta start getting some science and things going. Pew. And then I have two encampments to clear out up here. So. so anyways, hope hopefully Wait. everybody's having a great day. Was, oh, Glad you're all here. Sorry, I've been mostly quiet. Yeah, you started. I didn't have time to get them. Oh, that's right. You have nothing <laughs> left on the map. Oh, so that's a very nice way of started, saying it. You? Thank you, Soccer Man. No, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> That's a small victory, I take it. I need to kill two more units. I wanted to just econ. I didn't even really realize that this could be a thing. Like, you could have a non-neutral city, but like a hostile barbarian tribe, basically. 
Um, so that definitely took me by surprise. I'll get one more now. All right. So now, now we should be able to go and beat up these guys. And no, th this is like, um, what was that one war that I think England fought with a country over like an island that only penguins live on? <laughs> this is that. <laughs> yeah, it's probably. I don't feel that much bigger than a loot game mechanic. Sorry, what? Hello. Oh, are you? Do I see you? I don't see you. I just found you. Do you not see me? Oh wait, I need to introduce myself. Well, there you go. Yeah. Wary eye on ah, the hello. Hello. With strong ships on the water. I don't know how to see. All right, bye, chat. I gotta go back to non-push to talk because I want to chat with these folks. Love you all. Bye. Do you want to trade? Maybe. Yeah, we can totally trade. Are you awesome. interested? Interesting. Your proposal makes good sense. I say yes. You have way more luxuries than me, but I'm I'm working on recovering a city. I had a bit of an oopsie. Um, oh no! <laughs> Stability. <laughs> had a little, little neutral hostile thing, so I will oh, have right. more luxuries soon to trade with you. You can't even deploy all your units here, Potato. I can get two. It's all I need. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> The world comes a bit closer together, thanks to the first trade link that will bring shiny baubles and greedy Yoink. vendors. I still need one more kill. That's so disappointing. <laughs> well, that was all my units that were here, though. So these are the Chove. With luck, they'll prefer thinking and meditating to unleashing their chariots. Ah, uh, game mechanic, I've met you. Ah, hello. From my people, and from myself, heartfelt greetings. The world's Let getting smaller. Sure is. Let's go. You are as just as you are wise. Let's make it so. This bodes very well. Yes, very well indeed.
Oh, that's so weird how you can, like, when you're trading with someone, see all the deposits and stuff in their empire. Yeah. That's so odd. I've actually kind of shocked myself. I wasn't even really going for science, but I've almost completed the tech tree in this era. Um, nice. Cool. I, uh, I went for like a heavy food build and um, I have too many pop, like I can't fit them in my cities. Like I'm wow. overflowing. Wow, that's really good. I don't know if it's good, but it's interesting. <laughs> uh, it sounds good to me, right? Learning is important to know where you're going, but it's good to remember where you came from.
I just got a message from uh, someone yes. at Amplitude. Same here. I was just about to say it. Yeah. I shall say it on my own stream. I wasn't sure if you guys got it too. I did. Okay, chat, we're back on push to talk. Uh, and I will share the message that we all just got from Amplitude. Um, the Humankind demo just went live. People can play up to 100 turns as many times as they like. Uh, and if they end up getting the game, they can continue your save game from the demo. Um, so if anybody wants to give this a shot for free, here is the link. And if I could have a mod turn oh, that into a red. I command, don't know what to do. uh, like exclamation point demo, that would just be the best. That would be the absolute best. We also have three copies of Humankind to give away um, at some point today. Um, and maybe I could just have, uh, again, if I have mods with time at oh, any just point made it. during the stream today. Um, it might just be easier if mods handle it and we just kind of announce it and go. So, uh, cheers. If you want to check it out, first hundred turns for free. That's pretty sweet. Um, and like I said, we'll be doing some giveaways at, at some point here. I've been a little tunnel visioned onto the, onto the game and trying to keep up, trying to keep up. make that at some point now if, if i have mods around that can do it now let's do it now otherwise we'll have to wait a bit Over there. Let's go. i don't want to put them on the spot often people are working as well as hanging out So, let's see. We're almost there on text. Need to grow. I can't get another territory, which is really disappointing. It's 300 fame I could grab. Like, can I grab this? I'm gonna try. So super cool news from them, and and thank thank them for the keys. It's it's on their behalf. Um, Amplitude, just a really cool, cool company to work with. I, I have to uh, I have to say, and um, yeah, they're they're just super accessible, super cool, super available. It's pretty awesome. Roger without a D. Thank you for the follow or thank you for the sub. Uh, GPS, thank you for the thirty months. Mega Mario, thank you for the twenty one. I have Storm I Hack, thank you for the follow. Frog, thank special. you for the 23 months. So. Yes, you did. It's yours uh, now. Old, Mission accomplished. Old, old and oh, slow, you thank you so much it. for the follow. It's great. Soccer Man, thank you for the 26. Uh, Drunk right, Dutchman, was... thank you for the follow. Black why. Wolf, thank you for the 35 months. Now we need to defuse uh, the diplomatic Gigi, situation. Gigi, thank you for the follow. Okay, well, I took your land. Demorius, right? thank you for the tier two. Thank you for the 31 <laughs> months. Really Harry Toes, thank you for the 34. You have many grievances. Tom, thank you for the 50 bits. I really like it. That's the beginning of our day. Well, how about a different land piece? A bigger one, maybe. No. Hang on. This I mean, if you want those tiny islands, you can have them, but how about I get something bigger in return? Mm. I... No dice. <laughs> Forever war. <laughs> Listen, I'll pay you for those islands. You can, you can have money. Well, give me money then. Okay, I think you have to send me a grievance. Like, uh, you attacked me. Okay, yeah, me... I can do that. And I'll, I, I will accept your grievance. Okay. That sounds agreeable. I don't want you to hate me the whole game. <laughs> I'm okay with like just a little bit of battling. Just a little bit of hate. That's okay. That's what I hear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm 
my god, that's 1600 gold. Wait, that's Let's way see too how much. much you have. <laughs> I already have like 700. You're gonna have to give me a few turns to accept that. That's okay. I'll pay that take, much though. 2400. Take a time. 2400 is a reasonable price for these islands. I accidentally spent my money. Oh my god. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna accept them. <gasps> wow. I, I, <laughs> that money belongs to me. I'm gonna accept your demand. Um and just live in negative money for a while, so I can't do that again. Did I learned my lesson? Wow. Well thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, would you like to trade luxury? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that just means more money, right? Yeah. Send you a proposal. All right, chat, we'll be doing a giveaway sometime in the next half hour. So if you're here, stick around. We'll do one, uh, and then we'll, and then from there, we'll probably do one every, like, 45 minutes. If I knew minutes. you had more money, I would have made a counter offer, but let's, let's trade luxuries. I have no money. Like you could counter offer, but this is like you're you're trying to you're beating a dead horse here. I'm bled dry. <laughs> oh. But annexing that did get me an expansion of star. So that was was one hundred percent worth it. Appreciate it was not worth it for me, but but I'm happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, someone in my chat just said that uh, the more of the same district you have, uh, the more it costs production-wise, and that's from the last patch. I was wondering yes. why my Confucian Academies <laughs> were costing so much. Yep. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, there's a scaling yeah, component build, to like, that. If you build like 100 farmers' quarters, all your farmers' quarters will be more expensive, I think. Or maybe it's a per-city mm -hmm. basis. Right. So the last I'm patch sure had a lot of anti-steamroll stuff, huh? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, because yeah. on, on launch, mm -hmm. you could do some really crazy stuff with, like, just spamming maker's quarters. I remember the days. <laughs> oh, my God. You have so many luxuries, Kiri. What the? Oh, you're a merchant. I see. Perhaps we have some common ground. Oh, that's why you wanted these islands so badly. Because you have that really cool harbor. I see. I kind of heard you there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All good. I found more islands. But I think I'm not the only one who's seen them. I'm glad. I'm glad. Quarian. Um. So I'm back off push to talk for a minute. I'm gonna try to grab this this thing. 
Um, and then we're going to look to transcend. I guess I should look into where we want to go. Um, maybe this. Probably where we'll look. I've fallen back behind, not in first anymore. <laughs> Thanks, Soccer Man. Yeah, if I can get maybe a few more districts down, then we can look at it getting through the era. Doesn't seem amazing, but I still want to get it. Stability is still good. I'm trying, Reggae. I, I'm sure that I'm making a ton of mistakes here, but I'm doing my best to keep up. All of these players have way more experience in the game than I do. Thank you. I'm trying. I'm trying to keep up. I know time's running out. I'm gonna battle right now. I think battles um, extend the turn timer, so yep. I usually do them last. Yep, you're fine. Take your time. Oh yeah, that's true. Nice. Yeah, aggressive independent people just came here. I don't know where they came from. Yeah, I saw that battle. I, I saw your war elephants. Like I was like, well, war elephants versus two horsemen and an archer. And then I saw your levies, <laughs> and I was like, oh, you got this. Yeah, yeah, I do. I got a weird notification that one of my trade agreements with uh, with, with the Carthin Carthaginians has been canceled due to violence. Yeah, I, I didn't start it this time around, though. <laughs> Today you chose violence. I mean, I chose violence. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Potato did it first. I actually have a lot of friendly neutrals walking around. Um, are encampments new? I don't remember them happening before, but maybe I just missed them. No, they're not uh, new. Yeah, they've been around since launch, I think. Maybe I just misread them as cities in the past. I think so. Um, but yeah, they've, been in, they've definitely been in since launch. Um, I'm 
Being negative gold actually does not feel very good. I'm just going to say that right now. <laughs> <laughs> does that do anything with stability, or is it just that you don't have money to buy things? Uh, every turn that I'm down gold, I think I take a stability penalty in all my cities. And I have six Ooh. cities, so... I went with the um, Cooper city strategy, where you have, like... I have six territories, and every single one of them is a city. Mm, yeah. So how's that working out? You know, it's it's actually hard to manage. That yeah. many corruption queues. But it's interesting, at least. Because I've never done that before. I've done the whole just have one city thing. Which also isn't that great. It doesn't feel bad. I do have to start thinking about advancing, though. That's like the, the next big thing for me. I need some fame here. Yeah, I'm at the bottom of the scoreboard. I don't think anyone needs fame. Is it considered rude to, like, sneak a ship into someone else's territory to explore their lands? If you don't have an agreement, that means war. <laughs> so I suppose, oh. yeah, that's rude. I'm sorry, Zach, I think we're at war now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have, like, a real well, if, if it didn't say anything, then we're not at war. You can ask for open borders. I prefer the borders to be kind of more nebulous. <laughs> Ask for nebulous borders. What do I with the pleasure?
Do we maybe want to have a short break after this turn? Yeah, sure. I that seems good. I was just thinking I could use the restroom. Yeah, I could take a break. Does anyone ever have a pause? No. <laughs> but we can just load, uh, save the game, exit it, and then oh, that's load true. it again, I suppose. <clears throat> that probably is fine. I bet there's a way to pause. I think there is. I just don't remember how to do it. I'm going to Google it. I'm, I'm looking at the settings right now. Key bindings. Well, in positive news, I'm no longer... I've, I've paid off my debts. I'm no longer <laughs> in negative. Thank you very much. Turns out when you t when you Google things that just start with humankind, the internet doesn't necessarily know that you're talking about a video game. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, what, what are happens. these results? Oh yeah. How do you pause humankind? Yeah, how do you pause humankind? That's basically what I googled. Wow. Just unbeknownst to me that I would get weird results. That's in the process of that now. It's okay. Why don't you know what I'm talking about, Google? That's incredible. Uh, yeah, I'd say we just make a save and then... Um, yeah, I didn't find any key bindings for that. Okay, let's let's do a save and... Do you want to do it here? Yeah, I'll just do it here. Okay. Here's fun by me. Okay, I have a save. Great. So... I guess Yeah, we... short, short break? Yeah. Should we quit to All right, short menu, break. I guess. Yeah, yeah I, I quit to the menu. Yes. Awesome. Yep. See you all, all right, in cool. a few. Yep. yep. See you in a few. I have my stream muted for Discord, so if you want to pop a Discord, you're all good. <laughs> all right, chat. We're going to do giveaways pretty much when I come back. Uh, we're going to take a short little break here. And uh, thank you for being here. Thanks for hanging out. If you're new here and you've popped in from, from one of the other awesome streamers streams, thank you so much. Thanks for saying hello. I'm the game mechanic. I stream strat in sim games. Uh, and, and if you want to drop a follow, that'd be wonderful. Thank you so much for being here. And we'll see you all very soon.
I've returned. I'm still here. I am just back. Welcome back. I love you. <laughs> Hello. I posted the lobby ID again in the Discord. I'm not Thank sure you. if that's still a bug, but you might need to join in the order that you were before. Okay, I'm... Okay, I should be on... So chat, let's do a giveaway. All right, good. Let's do a giveaway now-ish. Uh, and basically what you'll have to do is just say um, uh, say something in chat, say anything, type a, type an emote, type a... Type a type a quippy ism, type a pun, whatever with, you want to do. Like um, when I played months ago, <laughs> so we'll it might, get, uh, might have been fixed. But the problem was that the the color, the icons, and we'll the AI one. didn't save for whatever reason. Weird. Yes, it was. I think is it's it, okay. Is it not weird that the third slot says gamer Zach? Yes. Thank you, but that's figures. clearly. TGM. That's he. That's not actually him. Oh, I see, I see. Wait, should I rejoin the game? Yes, please. Am I allowed to give the key to a friend? You're all my friends. <laughs> you are all my uh, friends. That, that, that looks correct, right? <laughs> yep, that looks correct you. to me. All right, that's right, yeah. <laughs> Might not be a terrible oh. time to conduct a giveaway. Uh, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. True, true. Let's do that. Any any more good puns here, Potato? I'm looking for people. Uh, I just told them that I want puns, and people are like, I'm drawing blanks. Did we win? I tried, and I failed with my best handmade pun. That was what one guy said. That's not a pun. I thought, listen, I'm not going to reach out. Ordos, do you have access to my Nightbot, or do I need to click the button? Because if we're, if we're all doing it now, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can win it and give it to a friend, Tamorius. Yeah, that's totally fine. That I mean, how would I know, other than your, your, your sense of honesty, which I appreciate. Uh, but yeah, of course you can do that. Of course. Uh, I have Butterfingers as eligible. Everybody else will have to... Uh... No, no, no. I, I was going to say wait, maybe. <laughs> uh, we don't have that many people on the eligible list. So go ahead and type something in chat they if you are R interested. In... A pirate oh, you have 17? Okay, Everyone if you have 17, that's great. Uh, just say something in chat if you want to be yeah, eligible. Classic one. I'll let you run it, Ordos. Classic. Thank you very much, that's buddy. Red, I, I will let you do it. Yeah, say, say something in chat. Say anything you like. It is a classy, but it's a good one. It is a really good one. I've heard it before, so no, no, no award. <laughs> so it has to be an original, or maybe not original, something new to you. That's right. I I crave novelty in my life. Okay. That's why I do the same thing every day. <laughs> <laughs> you just want novelty from other aspects of your life. That's it. It's true. Lodi, yay! Congratulations! That is very, very cool. Congrats. Thanks for being here. Thanks for thanks for being here so often. Great. I'm just full. And I'm gonna 
to try to focus back in on the game. Thank you, everybody. Pre appreciate it. Thank you, Ordos. Uh, we'll do another one. Let's call it 45 minutes-ish. If if you're around for that, Ordos, I, I obviously whatever whatever works into your schedule is 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 what I want to do. Don't think I'm getting ten more districts. Don't think I'm getting the money. Population feels kind of far. This doesn't. We can at least get that one and then maybe move. Yeah, because we're going to be at the end of the tech tree here in a second. Okay, wonderful. Just let me know when you, when when is a good time for you to run it, and we'll we'll do it here and stuff. Thank you, buddy. All right, so we got that one done. Do I want to wait for six more population? If I'm one turning districts, we can actually kind of get it all done. for now and try to get these districts down. Yeah, because I'm one turning districts for the most part. So I think it makes sense. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was working on is the resource quarters. Hi, Mephistopheles. How you doing, buddy? So yeah, so we can do that, and then how are we growing? Are we growing in time? Not really. We can see if we can grow more. Uh, it's not like super intentional zombie. I think I just didn't put it in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna look to get as much fame this era as possible before leaving. Oh no, okay, I'm just gonna go two things, I think. <laughs> Fifteen makers. You now have mm. a city of ten territories. I panicked and clicked that around. Tiny in first settlement <laughs> is nothing but a distant. What do you end up with? Tootens. Okay. We're very faith based and. Yeah, yeah. I would like you to adopt my religion, please. You can try. Actually, you're completely overpowering me with religion right now, Jesus. That's true. I need oh. to do something about that. I wouldn't say completely. The thing is, in this game, like a very small advantage in religion is like you've lost. At least well, that's I, I ended thing. up getting Stonehenge because it was the only thing available. Oh, that's right. That would give you another holy site. Damn. It's actually surprising how good the religious bonuses end up being. They they are really really good. I went for the one that gives me lots of food from harbors, and that's uh. Mm -hmm. A scary queen. That, that would have been would have been good for me. I didn't know you went Carthage, uh, so I did kind of snipe you there on that one. That's all right. I sniped Egypt from you. Yeah, so we've we've gone back and forth. I'm just waiting for yeah. your next like your next move. <laughs> right. 
I'm gonna let this one go. God, you have quadrant input. So scary. They're just roaming. Yeah, I'm getting all the the points of interest here. Oh yeah, the seaside ones are so good. Yes, lots of money. I got a free boat out of it too, which is crazy. The boats are actually not always a good thing. Because if you don't have that much money and you get so many boats, then the upkeep is very expensive. That is true. It can be like a, a bit of a stone around your So neck. that got me already at some point. Your empire becomes one of the giants, astride the globe. One more. One more. Thank you, Reggae. That's a nice tip. National control of vital products and resources, paradoxically, could provide more freedom and autonomy. All those of honest intent may have my ear. Greetings, Sovereign. Are you with me or against me? Thank you. 
wisdom and technical innovation. For innovation and brute strength, the Khmer present you with sophisticated hydraulic the engineering Maya reached the and ballista the equipped Khmer elephants. Of the who, uh, like it. who chose that? That's me. Ah. You, did you see the nerf they gave to them? Uh, I don't think I did. Well, they used to give you plus one uh, production from all pops. So oh. before them, it was plus four production. It was crazy. Now it's pretty reasonable. Fair enough. How are you feeling about your uh, your game so far? I feel like at some point you guys are going to show up with like an army and then I'm going to die. But other than that, I'm doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, if your score keeps climbing, that might have to be that might have to be what happens. You know? uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, I'm bottom of the scoreboard, so I don't know how to catch up. Usually, uh, there's actually a lot of like score to be won in the late game. That's true. I'm just fighting against Potato's culture because he keeps keeps pushing civics on me. At some point, I can't say no anymore. Yeah, it's like it's like because the negative effect of stability mm -hmm. is really yeah, it's intense. It becomes too much. Um, you actually you did it to me a couple times, and then I was like, ah, this is unacceptable. So I just started building <laughs> all the cultural things. Yeah. I, I do wish I understood like the culture and religion mechanics better because I see like there's like lines and numbers and pushing yeah but I don't I don't understand what all that like means I'm actually glad you don't understand because it seems like all of you have such a great understanding of the mechanics of games so I feel a bit better that I don't understand it's in the name <laughs> it is it is yes true <laughs> Why should individual wealth and political connections determine the status of something as timeless as the land? I can't believe you yoinked the anchor lot. That's so rude. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I really like how it works here though, because you just don't but like, you pick that one wonder, right? And that's yours. Yeah. In yeah. comparison you don't have to, to worry about where everybody the same just thing. wants to build the same one mm -hmm. and then you just miss out. Because this other person is one turn faster than you are. It certainly makes like multiplayer a lot more friendly, right? <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah. It feels like it does. It does. Yes. <sighs> when you get sniped in multiplayer for wonders, it's so oh, oh, heartbreaking. Oh, it's possible to get like so infuriated that like you like if I lose the pyramids, that's it. It's forever war. <laughs> <laughs> we live in war now, sir. <laughs> I'm still upset that you stole Anchor Watt because I went for a food build. And Sorry. Oh, this is well, I suppose that's still technically a wonder rush. You age up and then claim it when you can, you know? Yeah, that's true. true. The site of Anchor Watt is worthy of reverence. 
not merely for the temple. It, I think it's less for it's the care it took. I think it's because the investment is so less. Whereas, like, if you spent ten turns building a wonder, and then someone's like, huh, "Yoink!" <laughs> I hate that. Way that's... more frustrating. And you got Notre Dame? I was literally just... Okay. <laughs> I would like open borders. I'm going to kill PGS. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I hope I hope he doesn't get mad at me for getting both. Okay, so you got to go through me, right? So just send the deal over. I'll let you swim by. <laughs> I'm going to kill oh, him, wow. I swear to God. <laughs> Why? Why are you going to always be so mad at me, Potato? Every time we play <laughs> together. You took the two things. You took them. <laughs> Well, I mean, why didn't you take them? You know what? <laughs> I'm upset that I didn't take the combat strength boof <laughs> on my um on my religion now. Uh, there are other wonders you can economize. It's fun. Let's just wait. Let's just wait. I'm gonna die now. Oh, I can just trespass as the Teuton. That's great, actually. I don't even need open borders. Don't, don't even think about it. Well, you could have just asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say no. It's just, it's just swim on by. You're not attacking me. God, I wish I'd spawned next to him. It's too far to wage war, I think, <laughs> without having to kill someone else first. Oh, he's so mad at me. You're protected by the fact that you have two other continents, right, between you and me. You got lucky. You wonder stealing jerk. <laughs> I don't have words for how angry I am at you. I'm getting bullied by neutrals again, so. You deserve it. I mean, I probably do. <laughs> I wasn't contesting that.
have our orders. Notre Dame, an impressive achievement built at a time when scientific inquiry and growing faith marched hand in hand. I do like in this game how, like, your empire, like, your individual cities feel huge and powerful. My <laughs> cities don't feel huge and powerful. I was going to say. I think it's a you thing. <laughs> I mean, just in general, um, not necessarily, like, how my game's going or anything. Don't look at me. <laughs> I think we will have to fight together against game mechanics. Why? Wait oh, a minute. Sure. Wait. I came into this disclaiming <laughs> that all of you were way more experienced than me in this game. Yeah, says the guy with 9,000 That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I didn't. That wasn't meant to be a flex. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I found a little route down south of Kiri's land so I can sneak through because I'm an expansionist and I don't need open borders. Just testing the waters right now. I don't think you <laughs> noticed, actually. Oh, I saw it. I was, well, I mean, I was like, what, what can I do? I was like to my chat, oh, I bet you she's not going to notice. And I was like, wait, no, no, to I mentioned something. it earlier in my chat. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I can pillage districts while at peace. I mean, you can, but you're not going to be at peace afterwards. I mean, with TGM, if I could sneak by with like a fleet and. Oh, yeah, I see, I see. 
because I remember someone showed me like a harbor pillage is worth like two thousand gold because harbors are crazy expensive to build. They're like worth more to pillage. Whether or not the world goes hungry, with 30 farmers' quarters, this city certainly won't. Whatever you're planning, Potato, I don't like it. 
Are people wait? Are people giving you hints? No, I mean, it's pretty obvious. I mean, no one's really saying anything. I'm just—it's <laughs> very, very obvious by the ominous science silence that I'm about to get attacked. Why can't you just let me? I'm famous over here. I'm almost famous. It's like my dream. It's not my dream. Listen, potatoes. Your first rolling harbor. Me. Fishing. Well, it doesn't get the same, though. That's the voyages same. It's all about the fame. Because even if I kill TGM, you will see more many things out of this wind. tiny window yep. onto yep. a huge world. But I do have cogs now, so that's scary, I think, for him. I don't know what cogs are, so yes, I'm terrified. Fear <laughs> of the unknown. <laughs> I'm building my first one now. Beware the Teuton <laughs> believers. They have both strong ah, fellow warmonger. and heavy cavalry. Nice to meet you, Zach. Greetings. <laughs> well, I don't know what other path to take at this point. That's right. You get to the late game, you don't know how to win. It's war. So Marco Polo, you want to make this a trade expedition that you've uh, made here, or? I'm, I'm just, it's, it's one boat. It's just one boat. Yeah, I mean, I see your one boat. And it's hurt. I don't so like, like boat stuff. <laughs> I don't like it. Could, could my people have refuge in your land? Uh, yeah, sure. It's just an exploratory expedition. Mm -hmm. A peaceful trading slash exploratory mm -hmm. expedition. Marco Potato. Nice. Marco. <laughs> Marco Potato. That's a good one. I like it. Yeah, that's I, pretty good. Let me rename that, let me <laughs> rename that unit. <laughs> Marco Very Potato. Fitting. Ship was about to die. But it's still out there. Wait, why are you killing it? I thought you said you'd give me refuge. Okay. All right. <laughs> I mean, you're you're Did clearly you coming to was? kill me. He went back at his words. Well, stuff is happening here. You're clearly He's... coming to kill me. I don't trust you. I demand 1,800 gold in compensation for attacking Marco Potato. Okay, this is a grievous. Do you promise to not attack me? Think. Carefully. If I accept this, we are in Mr. goes back on his word. I hope they are kindly. Okay, what are the repercussions if I break the promise? <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'd have to think of something. Here's the thing. I can promise, <laughs> but how much is my word worth? That's, that's the question you got to ask yourself. That's the question, because I'll happily pay this eighteen hundred if you just promise that you are you're you're gonna you're gonna leave me alone. You're gonna go get your own fame. Um, we'll see how the dice roll. Well, why should I accept it if the answers we'll see? It's a good question. Um, because I'll consider peace. But there you go. I, the, I'll keep, I'm keeping my options open. This is this is like a toddler stealing a cookie and being like, "No, I didn't. I didn't take it from the cookie jar. I like <laughs> rolled it out of the cookie jar and then it fell into my mouth." <laughs> what was that analogy? I don't know. 
I suppose that is what I'm doing. Listen, I can't promise that I won't kill you, but I'll definitely take it under consideration. Go I'm away, sorry. then. It's being, it's wow. being considered. I don't trust you. Listen, what's a little bit of friendly pillaging between friends? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, like taking someone's islands. They're nice islands. I have, a, I have they, them filled with crossbows. I have a harbor on the island. It's giving me like 40 food. My demands have been refused. Drama. Well then. I'm not ready for war, so I won't declare. <laughs> you called my bluff. <laughs> I just got dissed by the narrator for being only in the top three and not in the top one. <laughs> yeah, he <Wow>. does that. <laughs> he throws some serious shade. <laughs> I never heard that line well, before, but I love it. I've turned voices down to zero, so I'm not hearing anything the narrator says. All right. I have it up so that my chat can hear myself in the game. It is. It's slightly disconcerting hearing, like, I open up the thingy screen, it's like, would you like a trade agreement? And then you talk and say something unrelated. I'm like, that's the voice. <laughs> it is the voice, yes. It's cool, but like, uh, not like upsetting, but like, I don't know what the word is. It would be like- I, I should talk in the same tone so that you don't know which one's talking. <laughs> I think I could tell, but it would be like, <laughs> It'd be like playing an RPG and like you're duoing with the guy who did the voices for it or something. Mm -hmm. I can't, I, I don't know. Like I, a I word think I know it. what you mean. I'm struggling here. Let's go! No, my boat! Retreat. Um, what are your boats doing in my territory? <laughs> Uh, we're just passing through. Mm hmm. Okay. Just passing through. At the check. Peacefully sailing along the coast of, uh, what's your continent called? Charlie or something? I have no idea. Does it have a name? I think every continent has a name. Mine is called, like, Corvus or something. Why do I see that? I don't actually don't know. I just I saw a pop-up was like you've colonized Corvus, and I was like, cool. Oh yeah, I got that as well. Mine's called Lyra. Okay, I don't read pop-ups anymore. Maybe I should. Yeah, it's probably not worth your time.
Hail, Sovereign. Loose the mainsail. Such big lands you have, TGM. 
Why are you still looking at my lands, man? A vast <laughs> I, 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 quantity. Yeah, I, I was just looking at the outskirts of the land, and it's it seems is it bigger than mine? Don't be so insecure. Jeez, come on. <laughs> no, I, I I think it's girthier. It's it's like wider. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Certainly more productive. I have land envy right now. accepted welcome let us speak honestly with each sovereign how can I help you All right, I'll turn off push to talk for a minute. Hi, chat. I miss you. Hi, Bose. What's going on? Like, I would say just enjoy, enjoy it, have fun. Uh, note that when, if you leave an era, you can no longer get fame for that era. So it is often. Um... My demand for reparations was justified. Think carefully. We Why do you feel like you deserve hands. these reparations again? I hope you attacked my boat. I did nothing but peacefully explore your lands, and you attacked me. Sure, buddy. Are oh, you accepted my demand? Hmm. Change of diplomacy. Oh, what are you hoping for, war? Oh, oh wow. thank you for the 34 months. <laughs> thank you for the tier he two. just tanked my war support by accepting it, I think. Oh, Zakoa, thank you for the oh, no, four he months got of one. Prime. Welcome on back. Good to have you all here. I am just holding on to I am fully clenched, trying to not die. That's that's my current plan. Trying to beef up our military a bit. Get stone walls everywhere. I might transcend early. We'll see. Hope I don't have to do that.
that an elephant with a cannon? No, no, no. It's a crossbow on top of it. Okay. No, it's a cannon. There I is have speed a fizz. people on my elephants. I think TGM has like crossbows on his elephants. Oh, he also has them. All right. Like exploring his, his coastline. Just being obnoxious, like exploring, you know. Like you did before, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Crossbows on elephants, that's an archer or a <laughs> cavalry? Cavalry archer. Yes, let's do a giveaway. Exactly. So let's do a giveaway. Weaknesses chat, make are sure you say something in archer, chat right? if you want to win a copy of this game, <laughs> courtesy of so. Amplitude. Very cool of them to support us. Also, go check out the first you know, just, just hundred of turns of this game <laughs> in their new oh, yeah. demo. That's like most of the game. You can have so much fun with it. I think everything it's is crazy. Teutonic Knights. They get, you know, and thank you for being here. Thanks for hanging out. And thank you to Amplitude for hooking us up. That's really, really cool of them. Really, really cool. I don't know, zombie. I don't know what his plan is. And obviously, don't tell me. None, not, only not at all, Paris already. For two <laughs> dynasties and 14 emperors, not the Forbidden even a City bit. was rumored to contain 9,999 rooms. No chance the boat's a diversion. I have no idea. I, I I don't I don't know this era of the game exceptionally well at this point. So like, honestly, I don't even know what to expect. I don't know what to prepare for. I don't know how naval combat works. There's like a lot that I just it's totally out of my wheelhouse right now. Um. Probably gonna build. I'm gonna I'm gonna work on a couple more districts, uh, and then work on a few more units. I think. I don't wanna. I really don't wanna just die. And we're working on these other era stars. We're getting close to a few of them. 
12 more population is going to be tough if we keep uh, building units. But we've got a lot of fame yet to get here. Is everything okay on your end? Because we have a desync. Uh, yeah, I think I'm fine. No issue here. Seems okay for me too. Yeah, it seems like things are okay. All right, good. No, I appreciate you, uh, Moth. The suggestions are great. I'm just doing my best. Like, I'm seriously muddling through. Thank you, Mirrodin. Is there land on the northeast of the island? Uh, there's this. You have unlocked there's anything that I don't have. Ah, to safely travel the dangerous, hungry oceans. You can cause trouble anywhere you want now Rafa. and have a better chance of getting away with it. God, your score just keeps climbing, dude. I'm like trying it's... my best here. <laughs> That's so high. Just just ignore the man behind the curtain. Just just go about your business. Uh, you know what? It's mid medieval era and I'm declaring nuclear war. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that. My avatar is a really nice line for that. You have awakened Dak Kiri. Missiles launch. Game ends. Right? That'd be cool.
Five months is not a sign of greed. Thank you. It's a sign of wise investing policies. As classic Khmer games. Wait a second. Also, we should shout Something out Something look at different. Because they're awesome. You should be following. I actually don't have a pair of a pair of what? Sorry. Oh, sorry. Did I say something? <laughs> um, yes. No, my my audio is messing up a bit because my I use wireless earbuds and I actually don't have the equipment I need to replace it since the move. Oh no. Ah. So I I'm, I was just. Panicking a little bit with my button presses. Sorry. All good. All good. All good. I thought you were trying to address us and you only got half a message in. I'm no longer um, I'm no longer an invader culture so I cannot enter your lands without open borders which has left me in a bit of a bit of a spot of trouble oh I know I lost connection of the game just uh -oh. got kicked out yeah oh, yeah so did I no uh short break yeah yeah, yeah sounds good short break, a short break. Good. forced one okay forced perfect I can sort out my audio issues all right yeah. good back in five did we do the other giveaway? Did we find a second person to gift the game to? Yep, it went to Mav. Oh, wonderful, it went to Mav. Congratulations, Mav. That is fantastic. I'm gonna take a quick break. Um, I need some food. I'm getting a little, <laughs> getting a little hangry over here. So uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. We have one more to give away. Uh, we'll probably do that within the next half hour or 45 minutes or so. Uh, thank you for being here, everybody. Again, if you're new to the stream and enjoying it, hit that follow button. We'd love to see you back.
I'm thrilled that you won it, Mav. I'm a, a little chilly. Hold on. enjoying this i'm having a great time and honestly this is fueling my love for humankind even more um especially because it's sort of like forcing me to go through it rather than be like oh i didn't do it perfectly and it's just like no just do it do it better you don't have to do it perfectly just do it better yeah doing okay on the fame game i'm feeling fine um i'm a little tired <laughs> i got up pretty early pretty early but I, I mean, I just love the people in this game with me, so it's it's sort of, it feels effortless, just the stream and the day in general, um, so. Thank you so much for the follow and welcome. Boss Tone, if I didn't thank you for the sub, thank you for the sub. I've returned. I have also returned. Hello, hello. All right, I'm good. Longer than I planned. Thank you to Scrooge. Appreciate you. Blake, thank you so much for the brand new Prime sub. Welcome on into the shop. It's good to have you here. Yeah, we'll just leave it on this for now. All of a sudden, like almost winter here, and it's kind of chilly. So I needed my Discord hoodie. Oh, do we need a save, or do we have? Oh yeah, wait, save? sorry, we're all back. Pretty sure we can just take it all to save. Yeah, it should be fine. I posted the idea again. Feel free to join. Wonderful. Okay, I'm joined. I will be one minute. Out of curiosity, how long is everybody thinking of streaming today? Usually I stream for another hour, okay. but it depends on you, really. Depends on me? <laughs> Specifically? Well, all of you. Sorry. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, that, I mean, whatever. I, I was just, I really was more out of curiosity than anything. Yep, I don't know, Zach? Potato? Um, we could probably go, like, one more part sort of thing. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. We can stop at any time, so if you if you just don't want to play anymore, we can just stop. Uh, Either nope. we continue at a different point, or we just say the one with most fame wins. Yeah, yeah. I, I can go whenever. An another hour-ish or another section of the game seems fine to me. It seems like it'll be a... I mean, we've gotten through a lot of the game already. I've been sort of... I've actually enjoyed the faster speed a good bit. Yeah. Yeah, I like playing on fast. Yeah. Blitz feels a bit too rushed, but fast is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, we're jumping back. 
again. Are you interested? Interesting. We will reflect upon it. Your proposal makes good sense. I see. Lovely. Impressive. A cultural wonder that makes me want to pull out my toy blocks and go crazy. Have a seat. Have a glass. So tell me, how are you today? <clears throat> Zoomed! Thank you, buddy. 50 months! The big 5-0 oh, indeed. Big Thank you so oh. much, dude. That is a crazy amount of time. Shout out my buddy, the Zune Master as well. How you been, man? I hope things are going well. Playing New World. How is New World? I feel like playership has dropped off a good bit. I offer an excellent proposition. You are it's, so, it's so interesting hearing her voice. <laughs>
Oh, Kiri, I just realized I nice. met you in game. I don't know when that happened. I'm glad. Yeah, hi. I introduced myself. But I can see Node in 1984. Wait, as, as a year? Uh, uh, well, it's your city? I don't, I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Forget it. I forgot my city was called that. <laughs> All good. I thought you were in 1984 and I'm only in 1210. Like, what's going on here? Yeah, no, no, that's my capital. I thought it was a bug with, I thought it was no. a bug with the naming. <laughs> it's actually one of the viewers. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Thank you for that open borders. You saved my boat, by the way. Uh, no problem. They were about to uh, sink to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, I've lost pretty much all of my boats that way because I keep chasing the treasures. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I accept your diplomatic alliance with that. Hmm, yes. Just, just, you know, incidentally. Perhaps you would like a scientific agreement. So I can see the world map now, um, and it seems like us on the skinny continents are bottom of the scoreboard, and you guys on the fat continents yeah. are at the top of the scoreboard. Well, hold on now. Right. You, you need to like take a better look at my continent, because it is pretty skinny. Have you seen Kiri's continent? <laughs> I've, I've just got like one line, a squiggly line, but that's it. She does have a very... It almost looks like, you know those like wacky inflatable dudes? Outside, like, <laughs> <territory>. <laughs> yes, exactly. Awesome. Now, TGM's continent. Now, that is a the Joseon era was certainly famous for its ships. It's nice of you to say that. I wonder if their scholars worked with brushes and parchment, however, rather than pens. Oh, I didn't know you could ransack natural wonders. You can. I didn't know that. Why? I can ransack the great blue hole for 800 gold. Wow. 
That's pretty cool. Oh, it's because there's trade routes on it. Oh, is that why? Oh, okay. Yeah, if you look carefully, you see like a little trading harbor and you can pillage it. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. It is right there. I thought it was... So it's just a coincidence that it's set up on the Great Blue Hole. Yeah, I, th I think it's totally coincidental. So that's what you need to hit PGM with. Hit a trade route and you'll make lots of money. Oh. Hey, those are also my trade routes. <laughs> you can remake those later. Oh, I can buy your copper and stuff. Too bad I'm in a deficit again because I converted my entire empire to production. Wait, just checking. What era is everyone in? I'm just the moving on from medieval. So early modern in a second. Yes, I'm also in early modern now. Same. Yeah, I think I'm a bit lagging behind. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, since my culture is pushing onto your sieve, you should start getting osmosis events, which should help you catch up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those have been happening. Don't fall for that. Listen. Oh, my, my culture and religion are already dead. <laughs> Same here. The giant purple blob will consume the earth. With five research quarters dedicated to science, one wonders what will run out first, food or pens and paper?
Perhaps we have... If I cannot teach you wisdom, I will teach you regret. Friend, let's celebrate. Well met. Well met indeed. I offer an excellent proposition. You. Indeed. There is a difference between inspiration and investigation. It really does throw me off when I hear your voice, Kiri, in the trade agreement. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> but it's an right? excellent proposal. No, it's like, no, it's brilliant and I love it. It's just, it's weird <laughs> to play the game w with you and have that going on. <laughs> yeah, it makes me insanely happy. Weird in a, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say weird in a really good way. Yeah. How do you guys feel about the um, the game pacing? Because I know that was a, a thing that a lot of people talked about, and even myself, I had a with this mode or in general. Just in general, like the game feels well paced to me nowadays. Yeah, and I think if they continue to make efforts to like you know, obviously s snowing down the initial snowball, like that's appropriate, and that doesn't make anybody have less of a good time. I don't think you know. Yeah, for sure. I was I was uh, remarking yeah. that I, I I do I do in fact like the speed that we're on. It's mm. pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, this actually feels a lot better than a couple of months ago. Oh, for sure. Because I, I, I felt like on launch and maybe even a little bit beyond launch, um, you were just, you like, if you got ahead, you just blew through a game. Like, you were just, it was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And now it feels like really, eh, it's not perfect, but it's like better, I guess. That's, I mean, I think that's, I've been talking about that a lot in stream. Like, it takes a lot of iterations for a 4X to really feel good and polished and stuff. Uh, and mm. that isn't to take away from any of the efforts that have made this, like, an awesome game thus far. But, like, you know, if you look at something like Civ, look at Vanilla versus Now, and think of all the crazy things that have been patched out. Think of all the different, you know, add added value that's been put into the game with other modes and stuff. Like... I don't know. I think I think the best strategy with four four X's is to uh, be patient. Oh, for sure. I, I actually I I one hundred percent agree. Um, I talked about this a couple times. I was like, listen, the reason why I uh, I'm getting a demon kind and I bought it because I actually bought it for myself. Um, and I uh, I gave the free key I gave away to someone else. Um, uh, is that because I know what I'm getting into, right? I'm the game isn't going to be perfect on launch, but I know over time that it's going to improve because that's the experience I want. I, I get a lot of, like, I, I really enjoy dipping into a game, trying it out, seeing how it plays, and then kind of coming back occasionally and, like, seeing how it's progressing. Yes. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And, and to their credit, Amplitude seems very committed. I mean, we've gotten many patches already. More to come, I'm sure. You know, I actually, what do you guys think about the, um, like the added little game modes that they're putting in? I, I, I think that's a great way of adding in replayability. Um, to do you this mean game. the events? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the events and stuff. I love them. I played the first chapter already and it was great. Nice. Because I like to get achievements as well. And despite that not being an achievement per se, it's just, it gives me purpose in the game. Exactly. And exactly. also lets me try out something that I probably wouldn't have done otherwise. Yep. Totally agree. I, I, I can see why people enjoy them. I have like a visceral aversion to those kind of things personally. Um, <laughs> I, 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 it's, it's just a me thing. Like I don't like anything that like provokes FOMO or um, is, is like time sensitive or fluffy or achievement based. I don't, I don't, it doesn't, it doesn't like drive me. I'm more of a, like an intris intrinsically driven person. Like I do something because I want to do it. And if I feel like you're not manipulating, but like if you're trying to encourage me to do something, I'm kind of like, whatever. That's such a different approach to how I play, but yeah, I understand. Like I'll sit, <laughs> I'll sit and play like Hearts of Iron 4 for like eight hours for no reason, other than the fact that like, I really just want to, you know, crush Germany as the Soviet Union or whatever like weird little thing I've decided is like the motivation I've, I want today. I feel like you might be slightly oppositionally defiant like I am, Potato. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm so aware when I'm like being marketed to, for example, that I'm like, oh, I don't. Even though I want that thing you're selling, now that you told me to buy it, I don't want it anymore. You know, <laughs> like, which is really <laughs> yeah. stupid. Makes no but sense. But if it's good. <laughs> What's it's that? But if it's good, yes, agreed. I it's not it's not even like that strong. It's more like there's this like it's almost like un unreachable part of me that is just like no, you you want me to do this, so I'm not gonna do it. Right. Yeah, I think I don't know what oppositionally defiant means, but if that's what it is, then yeah. It just means that you like you're you reject things because they were suggested to you. Like you're needlessly you needlessly want to go against the grain sometimes. Yeah. I'd say I have those feelings often. As do I. We have a we have a phrase for that. I think it's called a um person who stirs the pot. <laughs> pot stir. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fair enough, yeah. need to declare war to proceed with this option hmm. what you're catching up to me in score man <laughs> look at you like you're that you're gonna be the top of the list just just i've moved right on over and i'm letting you have it 
but I'm not top of the list. Yet. But you, you will be soon. You've been catching up. You've been narrowing that gap. Well, I'm going to I'm going to do something because I've got nothing else to do, which should which should help with this situation. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> why would you do this? Because I'm bottom already? of the scoreboard and what else am I going to do? What will happen? Uh, I'm about I think, to be uh, declared on. Zach just positioned two stacks of seven units outside the mechanics border. I know because I'm allied with Zach, so I get to watch. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm probably not going to win, but you know, it's something to do. You also might just end up feeding him fame, which gets him further ahead. For which I'll be very yeah, upset. that that's very likely as well. But you know, with with the top two position on the scoreboard, double my score. <laughs> what have I got to lose? <laughs> True. That's the thing, the person at the bottom of the crab bucket, they're the kingmaker. Whoever they choose to mess up, that's who wins. Or who, who doesn't win, rather. Yeah, that's true. The crab bucket is a force to be reckoned with. Good news is I've been afraid of potato attacking me for a while, so I'm not particularly scared of your boats. Because I'm about to have my unique unit. Oh god, your units are terrifying. Oh yeah, I don't think this is going to go well for Zach at all, actually. No. No, no, it, it's definitely not. Um, but I think I think my mission was... Uh, TGM was to scare you into thinking I had... Yeah, I, I, figured I, it, I figured that out at some point. I'm like, god damn, he's just messing with me. I was like, I need him to build something other than economic stuff so I can catch up. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Unique unit engage. Let's go. Hail, sovereign. So sad. You're weaker overall? Yep. Really? One thing that does throw me off with humankind is sometimes it shows when you like right click to move your unit, it shows you can reach somewhere, but then when you actually make the move, it doesn't reach that far. I don't think I've noticed that yet. I haven't had that happen either. Oh, there's a huge battle unfolding here. I actually don't know how this works, because all my units are still embarked. But they have, like, little naval transports that can fight, but they might be, like, so weak. Are they not strong in the water if they're not actually naval units? So should we manually battle this? I feel like it's going to take forever if we do. Um, hmm. I feel like this is the rest of the stream is us fighting. And everybody <laughs> that, waits to take point. their next like, three turns. We might hold up everything. <laughs> so I don't really know what to do. But, but battles are fun. 
I, mean, I, I don't mind if you guys battle. It's it's up to you guys. If you want to fight it, I'm I just, just know that insta resolve. If this is the play and you guys beat me because of this, that's fine. I can accept that. The only thing is, like, I have cogs in the area, but I can't join the battle. Like, I wish I could join my allies' battle. Yeah, that would be so cool. Well, my entire army is converted to these ships, which I think are decent, but I think you have quite a few more units. Most well. of his units are melee. Oh my god, TGM, how many units did you make? That I've been so I've been afraid units. of you for quite some time, sir. <laughs> you have made so many units. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I really wish I could just like gift you my units back because it's like you're getting. Well, you just follow up on this attack <laughs> or something like that. This is... I don't know if my four cogs. I don't like getting ganged <laughs> up here, you guys. This is rude. I don't know how much, my, how much my four cogs can do there, Zach. Um... I've got more coming too, by the way. I might kill like three units here. <laughs> Does that already give you a star? Um, probably not. Oh. So it's not even worth it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm an era behind. You guys are moving on to early modern. I only recently got into medieval. I think uh could potentially look into like the city of 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 the I've done that because I only had two cities, so I detached the territory and made a third one. Let's that helped. Trial. Yeah. I think it helped your economy scale a bit. Yeah. But it was already too late by then. What's a bit confusing with this battle is that my flag seems to be where their unit started. Yeah. It's because of the angle that he attacked you from. It's really, it's really... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, my flag for this battle is next to his city. I'm just gonna kill your units, though. So that you get more fame. That's right. <sighs> make this Force my hand, for TGM. <laughs> All right, land razor. Switch to military production. I did say I was bad at naval warfare. <laughs> you just really are at a disadvantage if you don't have ships. Yeah. That hurts a lot. Like I actually told Amplitude for my AI to like make sure it hates naval warfare. And then when I did a game where it was all my AI, like just eight of me, there wasn't a single boat in the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> so it works. Nice. Also, you just told everybody how to defeat your AI easily. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. My, mine is a, a continental AI. Like, go for a land map. 
There is a really goofy map type that I like, where it's just like, you make everything islands. Um, and that's kind of interesting. Um, but I could see how you would absolutely like hate everything about that map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not for me, I think. Wow. All right, that's the end of that. <laughs> that was an epic battle, but my goodness. Yeah, that was great to watch. Now I'm gonna run away with my last unit. Yeah, how many ferrets did you get, did you? I got a lot. Ah, oh, you had to hunt down the last unit as well. I did. I really did. I think he needs that kill. Go on, sir. Oh my god, he got go so on, much. Go on, go. Just, just click auto resolution. It's okay. You can have it. Okay. Oh, Jesus. War. Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, Kiri. Get him, Kiri. Get him. Yes. Yes. I'm not sure though, because he's got better ships than all, which is more ships. But I didn't see anything, right? So I thought I'd just have to try. Get him. Yeah. Okay. This is what we want to do. <laughs> so I now see. I think the whole world is at war. Yep. yep. It just needs to make this a bit more interesting, right? Okay. Late game war. All right. I'm in. Land Ranger. Military production. Let's go. All those of honest intent may No! Have my Why ear. would my crossbowman go into the water? Why would have it do seat. that? Have a glass. <laughs> can you, can you, can you Why, <laughs> Why would it go into the water? <laughs> Why? Did you what did you say attack or how how did that happen? I said attack and instead of like shooting Okay, I'll just retreat. I'll take that out. I'll retreat from that one. That was wow. All right, that's how that works. Don't do that again. Yeah, I also can't attack from the sea on land, so that also doesn't mm. work. Because I don't have movement points now, but the game suggested that I just go all the way around you, up on the island, and then attack you. I, th I think how it works is you need to have, like, uh, uh, a range unit or something, like a siege unit or something. I, can't, I, th I thought they fixed it. Oh yeah, wait, I don't have a range unit in that one. On the watch. Well, I'm just gonna offer a surrender, because, well, there's not much else for me to do. It depends on how willing to accept it he is. Man. Ooh, that uh my economy was almost exclusively reliant on trade. And the fact that you've declared war on me and like wrecked All my those trade. Of honest intent may have my ear. I think they're like suspended. The formal name yeah, they of the cathedral. Be is as ornate as the place itself. Cathedral of the Intercession of the Holy Virgin on the Moat. No, don't escape. 
I was just about to click. How could you? <laughs> <laughs> just caught that. Oh, that's upsetting, because now I can't ca actually catch you by that. Can I do this? There we go. Actions have consequences. When will you learn? Oh, I know. I don't have that many ships, but I've got troops. Oh my god, you do have troops. Alright, let's fight this. My goodness. Oh, now it's like including my city into the battle. This battle has like expanded rapidly <laughs> to engulf the entire Your city? Of my How so? I don't know. It just it takes up almost my entire coastline now. The battle is just super huge. Okay, chat, let's do, with with my dominance in that war, I, I, I batted away a little fly. Uh, <laughs> in celebration, let's go ahead and give away the last copy of this wonderful game. It is a full copy, uh, courtesy of Amplitude. Very, very cool of them to hook us up with some giveaways. So uh, really, really glad that you all have decided to hang out and, and join us all. This has been a, a wonderful oh event, and this is a wonderful Somebody game. So. Um, if, if you don't happen to win, uh, just be be advised that you can check out the first hundred turns of this game in their in their uh, in their demo, uh, which is a, a pretty new thing and pretty awesome. If you want to try before you buy, uh, as many many do, so um, go ahead and say something in chat, whatever you like, whatever, hail TGM, uh, 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 butts, whatever you like, whatever you like is fine, uh, but just make sure you say something in chat so that you're eligible to win. And uh, yeah, love you guys. Thank you so much. So fun to be able to give back a little bit. And again, courtesy of Amplitude, very, very cool of us, of them to hook us up with these games and, uh, and, and, the, and the giveaway keys as well. Yeah, that's my first round. <laughs> I had been building military for so yeah, long. Yeah, my turn, okay. Like, as I was so afraid of, of, of Potato, like trying to trying to get in there, and so I've I've definitely st like his strategy worked because it definitely stifled my runaway snowball here. But uh, it's uh, hopefully I can still stay ahead far enough. I should be able to get back to working on my cities and growing and and building districts and doing all of the stuff, getting science, etc. And then hopefully I can be the first of the next era if we go that far. Uh, but I think we're we're talking about wrapping a little bit soon. I don't know, man. I'm nervous. I'm not that far ahead. I'm only 1,100. Um, oh, wait. Hope so we stayed out of conflict. You know what? all my reinforcements now. That's going to take a while. Other than There's that last so skirmish, many. yeah. But we, so we all many. had our own. What I benefited from Cheers was having the biggest... It seemed like this is what Kiri had to start with. This is what I had to start with. Seems like people had a smaller territory than me. Race. <laughs> Let's reroll that, indeed. Jay Mandu, thank you so much for the 18 months. Cheers to 1.5 years. Thank you for the prime. That is an awesome amount of time. Rosewood, thank you for the follow as well. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, friends. It means a great deal. Thank you for the support. And and again, if you are enjoying the stream today, hit that follow button. We'd love to see you back. I got to get these other... Um... My problem was money. 
I'm still actually yeah, hurting. I underestimated money. how many units you actually had. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but you have more ships, though. Uh oh. True. There we go. Jay Mandu. I no. didn't deploy all my reinforcements because I thought oh, I was not going to have you, that you prime, you prime sub for a year and a half, and sometimes you get a free a game mistake. at the same time. Congrats, my dude. Yeah, Thank you, know you so much. I'm quite making mistakes. It's uh, my specialty. I've also misplayed quite a bit already today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to try to build more mercantile districts. I'm working on a couple. I do like <laughs> that after after like uh, 80 turns, it finally came back to it. We are now fighting over these islands. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I can tell you that our gratitude... I think it cool, everybody. Now to unleash your barrage of attacks. <laughs> I'm enjoying it a lot, Ivalon. I honestly, and, and how are you doing, bud? It's good to see you. It, it has been a minute. Um, honestly, like doing this was really, really fun and made me want like my. I mean, success begets success, right? So, like, my my fun that I had here today with doing what I was able to do um, was 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 really I don't know, motivating as far as me wanting to play more more humankind. So hold. I don't really need this elephant, but I'm just gonna finish it, I guess. So main priorities. We got some stability issues going on. We just kind of need some time, some more uh, influence. I think we're processing. I think I got it. All right, round two. Say, I, I like that part too, Moth, a lot. <laughs> hey, no, it's all good, dorks. I appreciate appreciate you being here. Have a wonderful day. Have a good meeting as well. And I, 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 <laughs> I wouldn't think that. I am certain that I have not played perfectly at all. But you know what they say, you don't have to uh, you don't have to outrun the lion, you just have to outrun your friend. It looks like Kiri's got this one to me. Yeah, listen, Zach, I'm gonna need a little bit more not, confidence from you. Not necessarily. Well, you you can deploy oh, your units, but she hasn't deployed everything either. True. This is quite the battle over here. Well, it's up to how you use those cogs. Are, are you finished with your turn? Oh, I'm so sorry. Ah, uh, it's okay. I wasn't sure if I was like desynced or you just. No, 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 no. I I thought I was done, but I had to tell that one archer that I couldn't reach anything to just not do anything. Sorry. Gotcha.
Yeah. You guys have a lot of boats. <laughs> a lot of units in general. Yeah. I, I thought we'd just do the same as, as Zach and Game Mechanic did on the other side. <laughs> I appreciate a nice, a nice wake up call. It's like a war. Gets you up in the morning, you know? Well, I think the the final scores will be decided at the end of these two wars. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else am I going to use? Oof. But also, nice move blocking that reinforcement point for Kiri. Because yeah, that would tip the battle. I don't know if that's going to hold, though. That's the thing. I'm, I'm surprised you didn't block the other one, too. Actually, I, I'm surprised you didn't block all of them. I was being cocky. I was like, I'll let that one through. Ah, overconfidence, right? Yeah, the small well, little insidious killer. <laughs> it is. I think I'm in an okay position, though. Like, I'm not freaked out yet. I think that's my turn. God, you have so many units. It's actually terrifying. I think you're doing great, though. I think I think the I think my saving grace will be these crossbowmen on the islands. Yeah, that's super OP. I was just saying that I'm I'm definitely going to steal that from you. No, we'll see, we'll see. Well, my crossbows can't shoot from my coast because they can't see you, apparently. Yeah, there's like a fog tile in between you. I here. hate this. Yeah, it's awful. That's unfortunate. Because it's like you go from archers that can shoot like really far to crossbows who like there's like a rock in the way and they just can't. Yeah, shoot. exactly. I hate crossbows. I mean, at the very least, we're both going to get, like, a lot of score out of this. I hope so, yeah. Be careful with the boarded tag. I don't know if you spot that, but I made the mistake of using moving units that had the boarded tag. So it's, like, actually insane the amount of damage you take from it. Oh, thank you. I did not see that. It is super sick. I have, I, I will say that I've had some issues today doing all of the various things, but I don't know if I should be blaming it on anything that's related to my internet. The, the, the new internet has been awesome, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you for the ongoing support. 49 months is a crazy amount of time. I really appreciate you. And yeah, it's, it's, I was, I was saying the other day how nice it is to be able to like stream and play YouTube videos and not have to like panic. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been super, super nice. Um, I just, I, I don't even bother speed testing cause it, it, it's all the internet I could ever want. And I feel like I'm constantly using it. So good to have you back Southside. Appreciate you. How's the rest of chat doing? Have you guys enjoyed this game? I've had a lot of fun. I got to SimCity a lot, which made me happy. I think it's because they were already damaged. I'm like trying to figure out where we can get some score before this game ends. I know the most exciting view is over on the battlefield, and we'll get back there in a minute. Let's basically keep building districts, right? Because I can't do these, sadly. I can keep growing. 
Like, we might get one here. Like, we can probably get, like, three, four, five hundred-ish. But, yeah, we definitely need more techs. I need to build more districts. Well, that was my turn. All right. A good turn. One, two, four. Oh. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I think six districts is doable. We've got some things that we get to work on here, which is nice. I'm assuming that the internet played into your move location thought process. Very much so, yes. Yeah. Having actual gig internet as a streamer is like... I didn't feel like it at the time, but I feel like it now. A necessity. Can you use my affinity to get more science? I suppose I could do that. I forget kind of how this works. So what does this do for me? That all cities in Clinton, all industry and money are converted to science. That's for five turns. Yeah, but I have districts to build too, so I don't know that I want to do that. Like, I can just build science districts, right? This is. We're eventually going to be able to get one here, I think, with the harbor. I don't actually want that. Or this. That is my third and final turn. It's up to you. All right. Violet Star. This is uh, your your um, influence. We're at 400 per turn. So 400 per, per turn, and we need we need like 10 turns. I don't know what a hamlet is. What's a hamlet? Is that it? Oh, no. No, 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 it's not. I, I'm still thinking. I was, like, looking at the thing. In front of the like, order. Order. I was like, is it over? But it's not very much. I think it was just, like, a UI thing. No, not yet. Okay. Oh. Wow. That's turn one of this yeah, battle. Yeah, that's uh, okay. <laughs> Congratulations. Turn one over. Good job, you guys. Apologies that that took so long. Oh, no worries. Well, I don't have anything to do on my turn anyway. I'm just 2,000 in debt paying for war reparations, so. Ooh. <laughs> Oof. What did you learn? <laughs> that I would have done exactly the same thing had I been in the same position again. That's fair enough. 
I mean, really, there, there was nothing else to do. You would double my score, and I was an era behind. So, you know, next time, uh, let's play on a continent. <laughs> I mean, we, we wanted to, right? That was just a very unfortunate bug. Yeah, yeah it's fine, it's fine. All right, I, I, I set the tempo for this battle now. You know what? You can bring your reinforcements in. I'm getting cocky now. All right, then. Thank you. Yeah, everybody but me seemed to have gotten a, a fairly small island. I'd be curious to actually count her territories. Can we see them? This one's kind of rubbish, but one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. It's not that much smaller than mine. Mine's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's the same amount. It was the same amount. Now my land might have been better. That could certainly be a thing. You are not invited. <laughs> have a seat. Have a glass. Let's get to know each other. Okay, it's my turn. Yep, just finished my finished my first round. It is good to see you, friend. Truly. You know what, TGM? I accept your trade. Yeah. Welcome. I can't <laughs> Let us speak with honestly right with each other. What do you think about my reinforcements? Oh, that's more than I thought. Wait, what is that? I brought in more and I just purchased Soul Peter from Game Mechanic to upgrade my ships. Oh my, I don't have carries yet. Oh no. Ah. Uh. They did 41 damage? Okay. Maybe I've turned the tide now. I think those carries alone win. That is disgusting. You are as just as you are wise. Let's make I regret. It so. <laughs> why did I? Why I was I so cocky? No. <laughs> I didn't know there were ships in there. No, Trade I brought in more reinforcements from the outside. Empire? I just, I just oh. made them in a city and moved them inside. I just had to wait for that one turn. God. I agree, Hogue. I've actually had a, just a total blast with this today. Really, really exceeded my expectations as far as that goes. We accept, and we Not that I was expecting to have a bad time or anything, but... I think that this calls for a celebration. Alright, so you can buy from me. I think that's all we can do. I did this thing. Good God, those characters are gross. I still don't know how to attack your archers on the island, though. I don't think I can. Weird. Is it because they're on you... rocks? I don't know. Oh, never mind. Never mind. My ship can. Yeah, I was expecting like fully to get like blasted. Okay, yeah. Serious damage there. Well, that is all good. Well.
so did you see my crossbow north of the battle that just entered? So I can oh, shoot at your no. crossbow on the island? And you got the first shot off. So you'll win a 1v1. Mm, that's annoying. Okay, I'll give it to you. You might have had me here. <laughs> just I might a little have, bit. I might have. This is the first time I've had a proper big battle with a player. Um, this is probably my favorite feature, actually, now that I've had a big battle with a player. Yeah. Yeah, it's super cool. I, I love how big the battles can get, too, you know? This is definitely the biggest battle that I had. It's amazing. I guess we're just going to play RNG battle with those crossbows to the north. Whoever rolls the highest wins. <laughs> yeah. I face is if you get onto these islands, I have no way to get you off them. Yeah. My problem is that you have those crossbows on the islands. <laughs> yeah. Those characters, ah. I think, um, Kiri is the winner there. That's unlucky. Actually, I don't know. I mean, I am making more units, and I would have called in more. But I, Potato I really has a lot of units right now. I have more coming, too. I have, like, two yeah. small stacks, and I have two cities making cogs. I, think I mean, I could have gotten the, the better ships, but... That's ah. devastating. Oh, that's unlucky now. I think we just have to auto resolve it now because otherwise we would take up too much time. Uh, or, yeah, I mean. Or, I mean. I'll fight it, I'll fight it. No, no, no. I, I just. We, we don't even have to auto fight it. Unless you want to try again, but I don't know. We kind of said like one more section, right? So basically. Yeah, that's I kind of have to go now. Yeah. Oh, that's it. We're, we're timed. Oh, sorry. I misunderstood. I didn't realize we were timed up. Sorry. <laughs> But that uh, was super cool. That was yeah, a lot. Yeah, thank you so much for playing and yeah. um, for doing this. I've never played multiplayer before, so this was really nice. I, I very awesome. much enjoyed this. Like, it far exceeded my expectations. I think I think multiplayer in this game is super fun, and you guys are all super fun. So thank you so much. Uh, thanks for, for doing this. This is awesome. Yeah, whoever came up with this idea, you're Kiri. Awesome. This was like great. Kiri, you're yes, yeah, whoever I came up I with this. <laughs> I, I wanted to do this, and then that I reached out fun. to the game mechanic, and then we reached out to you guys. So, yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, it was, was really fun that to play. Was super fun. Um, I am really sad that we didn't get like a conclusion to that war because I feel like we, I feel like that could have gone either way. Like the characters yeah. were scary, but yeah, yeah, with the reinforcements, it's hard to call. 
Yeah, so... Well, for now, yeah. you have the islands, right? You can, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I think island. Game Mechanic has won this one. Haha! -ha, huzzah! Oh, yeah, Did yeah. yeah. The, the <laughs> one who said, I'm the worst player in the game. <laughs> True. I've only look, completed the I game said once. It, and then you said it. And look, I think I win that one. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. You did win because we wanted we wanted the lowest score. So congratulations, Gamer Zach. Yes. That is true. Yes. Gamer Zach, well done. Congratulations, me. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks, you guys. Have a great rest of your week. And uh, yeah, let's let's hang out again sometime. This is great. Yeah, we can we can do that. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Have a good this, day. This has been great. See you all. Thank you. Nice see you all. I love you all. Bye-bye. <laughs> Same. Bye. Good stuff. That was so much fun. I seriously had so much fun. I mean, it, it obviously winning is fun, but it was beyond it was beyond just that. Like I really just enjoyed the experience and the process uh, and all that good stuff. So um, part of the reason part of the reason that we wanted to pick today as a day is it's a day that amplitude uh, streams. And so Amplitude, again, shout out to them. Thank, thanks to them for the, the keys uh, and, and, and just this wonderful game that we all got to play today. Um, so now we have the cool opportunity that we get to take all of you and heap you over onto Amplitude, um, which is wonderful. So we're going to give them a raid. I'm going to wrap it up for today. We've been streaming five plus hours. I've been up since 5 a.m. I need lunch. Uh, and I've got I've got some, some stuff to make sure I get done this afternoon. So... Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with TBD. So if you're interested in that, come on by tomorrow <laughs> for TBD. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Again, if you were new here and you enjoyed the stream, uh, hit that follow button. We'd love to see you back. Dia de los Muertos is it's one of the events that I was referring to earlier that they're, that they're working on um, and coming up with. And uh, yeah. Thanks, everybody. See you all tomorrow.